Well, tonight uh, um, we're going to keep it here. We're not going to take a, a break uh, away. Um, we've got our Waterstone Mortgage kickoff, and that's going to be by Liam Minna. It looks like the Bruins are going to be kicking off. And um, back deep four. Back deep for Graham looks to be number five, Tadrez Clements, and number six, Jamel Floyd. Bruins are in their yellow pants, blue shirts with yellow numbers, blue helmets. And the Graham G men are in the uh, uh, road whites, all white uniform with the uh, uh, crimson going down the side and the gold bar in the middle, maroon numbers, and gold helmets with the large G on the side for the G men. And Liam Minna has teed the ball up for this opening Waterstone Mortgage kickoff. He surveys the field, and he is approaching the ball. And we are underway here at Bill Brown Stadium. Looks like the, the G-Men have received the, the kick. They take it back to the 25-yard line. Looks like number six. Jamel Floyd on that return, and he is met there by a host of Bruins, but the G-Men will take over first and 10 from the 25. Yeah, right. nice <clears throat> kick, nice coverage right there, Brad. David Oliver did a good job getting down the field, uh, made a nice little tackle, and um, hey, here comes that explosive offense out, man. And it looks like we are going to see number nine, Braden Meadows, uh, in the quarterback position. Ty Trez Clements is to his right, two receivers to the left, one to the Right, and it's a handoff, but it's a fumble. However, it is picked back up by the G-Men. And then on the tackle for the Bruins, looks like number five, Addison Bass. Handoff, it was almost like a jet sweep there to number three, Sean Hughes. And it looks like just that bobbled that handoff, but it just got a fortuitous bounce and bounced right up to him. <laughs> and uh, but, but Addison Bass is on it. Hey, he tried to cut back, and good job by Addison beat Johnny on the spot right there. But you saw that speed trying to get around that edge yep. right there, Brad. It's a loss of four on the play. Second and 14 for the G-Men. Snap is back to Meadows. Handoff to goes to D Dadrez Clements, and he's around the 30 and takes it up to the 35 where he goes out of bounds there on the Bruins sideline. That looks like that's going to be enough for a first down. Yeah, he just got the edge. We really um, – <clears throat> We got hooked out there, Brad, and didn't set the edge hard. And next thing you know, hey, 10 yards real quick like. Yeah, and that one there, actually 14 yards. 14, uh, oh, my. Yeah, that's right, because they yep. lost. It was a 10. And uh, I tell you what, when he gets to the edge, it's going to be hard to yes. hard to do anything with him there. Graham G. Men have two receivers to the right. Tadrez Clements is in the backfield. Handoff goes to Clements up the middle, and he's met there by number 64, Braden DeMassey. Looks like maybe a gain of a yard and a yard and a half on the play. Uh, also in on the tackle, number 52, Nathan Woolwine. That's going to bring up second and eight from the 37-yard line for the G-Men. Tell you what, you know, the quarterback, he looked, Meadows, he, he kind of looks like a fullback back there. Yeah, Brad. he I does. 5'9", like, 210. He's, 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 he's a little good tank. size. And you know he likes to run as well. Uh, you know I don't know if we'll see him run a lot this this in this game, but uh, definitely a possibility there. Yeah, there there go as we say it. Meadows gets the snap and he's across the 40, 45, takes it into <laughs> Bruin territory at about the 49 yard line. That's going to pick up a first down by about 14 yards on the carry for Meadows. Yeah, just direct snap, Brad. You had the you had the little blocking back in front then the running back led i mean he had two lead blockers right there and now they're going fast right here yep, they kind of tempo yeah got a little tempo rolling going very quick uh, it looks like they've got sean hughes in the wing back position and they do a hard camp and uh, hard count and they do draw the bruins offside so that's going to be a five yard um penalty against Blacksburg, so that'll bring up first and five. 10.08 to go here in the first quarter. Open and drive for the G-Men. They ha have the ball all the way down to the Bruin 44-yard line where it is first and five. Really haven't seen them air it out yet, Brad. You know, first and five is a great opportunity to take a shot, especially when you're in, in, in the field position where they are right now. Um, one, one surprise to see a little one-on-one -on -one take a shot right here, Brad. And it looks like they've got two receivers to the left, single receiver to the right. Clements is in the backfield beside of Meadows. 
and snap is back and he is going to let it fly Ooh. and it is a little bit low ball falls incomplete uh for for the g-men looks like it was intended for number one Braden Watkins, but uh it's going to bring up second and five now for graham yeah good little coverage right there by carter ackerman dropping back from that inside linebacker spot like you said i mean i that ball Looked like it hit off the receiver's knee and yeah. popped straight up. It was it was pretty low. Yeah. So Graham's got two receivers to the right, one to the left. Hughes as the blocking back. Handoff goes to Clements over the left-hand side. He's at the 40. He gets around the edge. He's at the 45 or 35, and he is tackled there at the 30. Looks like 33-yard line is where they will spot it. That will be enough for a Graham first down. He doesn't need much space at all, Brad. They do move it back, actually, and spot it at the 34. That's what I'd originally thought there. Um, two receivers to the right, single to the left. Clements in the backfield with Meadows. Snap is back. Meadows looks to throw. He's going right, and he's going deep, and he's got his guy at the three, and he catches it. Number eight, Chris Edwards on a 34-yard touchdown reception for the Graham G-men. Man, Brad, they uh, they had us in man coverage over there, and they just ran kind of like a scissors route, level like out and up, and it almost it almost kind of picked us off yep. right there. So yep. we're in the trail position, never could catch up. Great play call on their part, and uh, man, yeah, that that, that, was that was pretty easy and pretty quick. On for the extra point is Dylan Nash. Snap is back. Hold is up. And the kick is up, and the kick is good. Our new score here at David Christ Field, Graham G-Man 7, Blacksburg 0. We'll step away. You're listening to ESPN Blacksburg. Service is so important, and we don't mean just riding herd on people and looking for violations. Service in helping people, in being available, in being in dialogue, in participating in activities. Our police are true members of our community. There was one day when I had a problem on the back of the building. Somebody was monkeying around, if you excuse the expression. They shouldn't be back there, and it was after hours. And I happened to just call the dispatcher, and an officer was here within minutes. The bottom line is, is that you don't want to mess around in Blacksburg. They're very responsive, they're very professional, and very quick. They are hardworking, valuable individuals who are truly ethical and great people. Just overall great people who I think you know, Blacksburg is really lucky to have and to represent our community. Welcome back here, Bill Brown Stadium. Graham strikes first, 9-14 to go here in the first quarter. 34-yard touchdown reception to number eight, Chris Edwards of the G-Men. And it looks like number, looks like number 15, I believe. Is that 12? I thought it was 12. I think it's, I, yeah, it is yeah. 12. You're right. Looks like Dylan Nash uh, will be doing the Waterstone Mortgage kickoff honors for the G-Men. Back deep for the Bruins. Kick is up. And looks like that is... That's Gordon. Gordon Grisham Baden. And he is going to bring the ball back to the 25-yard line. First action we've seen Grisham Baden in a couple weeks. Good to see him back so, out yeah. there, Brad. He's got a little burst back there. He does. Brings a pop of energy, too. It's That's nice right. to see him. Yeah, good to see him. Looks like penalty flag is down on the play. Officials are conferring now. Ball is spotted at the 24-yard line. Looks like the penalty was all the way over near the cram sideline, really away from where the... Uh, the return went to. Looks like the uh, head referee, Mike Sailors, lets us know that it looks like it's a block uh, below the waist, and that's going to be a penalty against the Bruins, and that's going to march them back a pretty significant amount. I think that is a 15-yard penalty. So that is going to take them back. Actually, I guess... I guess it's a 10-yard 10 penalty. Yeah. Takes them back to the 14. 
Blacksburg has their first opportunity to get the offensive side. Three receivers to the right, single to the left. Campbell in the shotgun formation. David Ajay directly behind him. Campbell surveys. He takes a snap. Handoff goes to Ajay up the middle. And he is met there by number 56, Connor Roberts. We talked about him tonight. He's quite a fine-looking young man out there in that defensive end position. He's tall and really lengthy out yep. there, Brad. I mean, six foot three, 235. He was All-State last year as a junior. Uh, this is his senior season. Uh, pick up of maybe a half of a yard on the carry there by Jai. You, you see, you see, Graham, man. They're up in our face. Oh yeah. There's hardly anybody farther than five, six yards off the line of scrimmage. Um, you know, they're gonna make it difficult. They're gonna us. attack to you. You yeah. know, I mean, they're physical. Blacksburg once again, three receivers to the right, single to the left. Ajay's in the backfield with Campbell, fakes the handoff, and there's a throw over to Carpa, and he is smothered up for a, about a five-yard loss on the reception over there. Nowhere for Carpa to go. Um, that defense is fast, too. I tell you what, they just they come at you. Yeah. Ball spotted at the 10-yard line. is going to bring up third and 15 for the Bruins. It's almost like the best shot. It's just, hey, let's just take some deep take shots some, take downfield. Some, loosen them up a yeah. little bit. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's something that you have to look at there. Um, Blacksburg breaks the huddle. Two receivers to the right, two to the left. Campbell takes the snap. He's looking to his left. He's rolling. He's go. rolling to his left. He's going to keep the ball. And he almost got tackled at the 15, but he's able to slide away and pick up a little bit of extra yardage. Uh, it looks like he's going to spot it at about the 18. Took a pretty good shot there to the back after he was down, but uh, no penalty on the on the play. That's going to bring up fourth and about seven for the Bruins, um, you know, it's a good job by Spencer to get away there. Uh, I thought he was going to break it pretty quick, but uh, I tell you what, that closing speed of that Graham defense was was on him. They did a nice job, Brad. Hey, we dropped back. We were in that two by two set, right? And they just brought the house. It was they did. That's right. Man to man on the edges, and they brought everybody. Campbell kicks the ball away. He does get bumped in the process, but no flag. Um, down uh, on the punt reception there was number eight, Chris Edwards for the G-men, and the ball will be spotted at midfield. It looked as if that punt was going to be blocked, but uh, um, he did get a little bit of contact there, but, but no I don't see no how it wasn't blocked, Brad. I really, I, really, <laughs> I really don't. I don't see how it wasn't blocked, but there was a little bit of contact, but, you know, and not enough to really knock him down. Yeah, so, yeah. Um, Hey, tough field position right here again. You know, can't convert first down, so you can't flip right. the field. That's right. That's right. Graham breaks the huddle. Clements in the backfield with Meadows. Snap is back. Hand off to Clements over the left-hand side. He's at the 50. 48, and he is slung down there. Uh, looks like the ball is going to be spotted at the 49. Um, couldn't tell. It looked like Addison Bass in on that yeah, tackle it was for Addison. the Bruins. But that's, was a late flag come in right there, Brad? Yeah, it does look like there's a little bit of laundry on the field, James. Um, all the way over on the Graham sideline. Not sure exactly what that call is. Horse looks collar. like a horse collar will be the call against the Bruins. That is a 15-yard penalty and a... Uh, It'll give the G-men a first down, and it takes the ball all the way down to the 34-yard line of the Bruins. Oh, that's a tough one there. Yeah, that was – I didn't see it, but I guess they did. Nice little counter play right yep, there. Yep, looks like handoff goes to number six, Jamal Floyd, and he's going to pick up of about uh, four yards on the carry. Hey, but Takes what? it down to the 30-yard line. Hey, it was nice to see Thomas Boyd step up right there. He really laid the lumber right there, Brad. Uh, great, great job by Thomas Boyd. I mean, he's a strong young man, and he's well-built, low to the ground. I mean, he stepped right in there and laid. That's what you want to see yep, right there. Laid it on the line right there. Graham has two receivers to the right. They've got them spread out pretty wide. Handoff goes to Tydrez Clements. He's over the right-hand side to 25 to 20. And he gets drugged down there at the 17-yard line of the Bruins. Boy, James, he is quick. You just can't give him any space, Brad. Mm -mm. I mean, it, it, you know, even if you do, it's like tackling somebody in the phone booth. I mean, he's just... Well, and they're sort of setting us up, too. You know, 
they, they get these receivers and they're using the field to their advantage. They're spreading these receivers way out so it gives a lot of green space out there. Yep. We gotta be a little bit smart there too and try to close that gap just a little bit. Graham breaks the huddle, two receivers to the left. Clements is in the backfield beside. Meadows looks like he's gonna throw and he goes over to the left-hand side. Pass is complete over on the G-man sideline. Takes it all the way down to the one yard line. Look to me like I couldn't see the number over there. They're so far over there, James. Yeah, <laughs> having the same problem. But at some point, there's got to be offensive face mask, Brad, because yep. you know that old Heisman move and all that. They start steering the defender's face mask. Yep, that's right. And, and, and at some point, you got to call something on the offensive player. Look like that that pass was complete to number one Braden Watkins over there there is a penalty flag down there you go. and it is going to go against the G-men and they called the personal foul version too you know of the face mask you know they start steering the defender's head I mean yeah you it, know something's going on yeah there. It's, it's, it's getting so it's that so, is a that is a 15 yard penalty um looks like it will spot the ball back at the Bruins 23 yard line where it will be first down and about 16, I guess. Yeah, it looks like 16. Graham breaks the huddle. Two receivers to the right, two to the left. Running back in the backfield with Meadows. Meadows surveys the defense, takes a snap, and he's looking to his right. And it looks like he's going to throw, but Braden DeMassey right in there, and he takes him down for a big-time sack. All the way back to the 34-yard line, Braden. Once he got those big paws on him, that was it. He wasn't. He wasn't getting anywhere. And this is kind of like what he did last week, yep. man. Every time the quarterback went back to pass, he wreaked havoc. It was great seeing him right there. I mean, well, you know, we talked about how how uh, stout of a young man yeah. Braden Meadows looks. Yeah. But when when Big Braden got a hold of him, he looked like tiny. <laughs> yeah, you know. Hey, we got to give a little bit of credit to the coverage down the field yep. right there too. I mean. We Straight didn't make job. him hold the ball a little bit right there. Graham's got three receivers to the right. Snap is back to Meadows. He's looking to his right. He looks. He's throws the ball over to the sideline on the Bruins sideline. It looks like he was able to bring that ball in. That, once again, was number eight, Chris Edwards. Ball was caught at the 26-yard line and uh, just barely was able to hang in there and keep his feet inbounds. I mean, you know? that looked like a pro receiver right there. I know. And he looked like he came down with two inbounds yeah. also, Brad. I mean, Heck of an individual effort right there. Blacksburg got some penetration there sure on did. Meadows, and it had him a little bit confused. You could see he had somebody that was going down the field on the right-hand side, then he checked off back to the middle, and then he came back yep. over underneath to, to Edwards. You got one-on-one -on -one to the to the field right here, Brad. Yep, Bruins backs up in defense. Uh, Campbell goes back into the safety position. Meadows takes the snap. He's going to throw over to Clements in the left-hand side. He's at the 20. And it looks like looks like Spencer Campbell's gonna knock him out of bounds at about the ten yard line there. That will be short of the gain of first down. So it's gonna bring up a big fourth down here for yeah. the G Man. I don't see I haven't seen number twelve come on yet. Looks like that that pass was complete over there to number five, Tydrez Clements. They're going for it. They are going for it. It is fourth and two from the 10-yard line. Looks like they're bringing in a bigger version in the running back beside of Meadows. And Blacksburg is going to burn a timeout here in this particular situation. Looked like they had brought in number 22, Corey Hood. Yeah. You know, if I'm in this situation, I'm, I'm Graham. I'm thinking about going for it. You know, if you're, th if you're thinking about kicking – you might just try to draw us off sides, but with that quarterback and those running backs and that blocking back, uh, you know, try just straight up QB ISO if you're going yeah. to run the football. That's right. That is right. They and they have seen, they have seen some success with that. Uh, um, you know, I would imagine you, you you hit it right on the head there. I, I would imagine we're probably going to see either a quick count or we're going to see a hard count, one of the two. Um, and. Uh, um, you know, they there was no hesitation on a G men there. They were going for it no matter yep. what. They sure were. Be a big stop, Brad, if we could find a way to 
find a way to bow her necks and get this one right Be here. great, wouldn't it? Looks like both teams break away from the sidelines, go back to the playing field. The Bruins have set their defense. Meadow surveys everything. Got one receiver to the right out way wide, two to the left. Blocking back on the right, running back beside of Meadows. Hughes goes in motion. Meadows, it is an ISO. Oh. And I'm not so sure. It looked to me like we might have had him, but second effort might have given it to him. The I Bruins seem to think that, that they have stopped him. I, we I will have a see. Hard time thinking they, it, they got, is, yep. it is a stop by that Bruins defense. Terrific job uh, by those guys. That was a big play right there. Yeah. Um, you know, you, you called it, though. You called quarterback ISO. I mean, he just went right up the middle. I thought his second effort was going to give him the first down, but uh, the Bruins fought hard. And, and now turnover on downs by the G-men, and Blacksburg takes over at the 8-yard line, first and 10. 3.54 to go here in the first quarter. G-men leading the Bruins 7-0. to zero. Blacksburg's got two receivers to the left, one to the right. Ajay is in the backfield. Looks like it's going to be a timeout for Graham. They had 10 on the field. Uh, Coach Sheeler called it right there. And I think we only had 10, Brad, to be oh. honest with you. I'm well, just, Graham, I'm... Graham called the timeout, so we'll take it, right? Yeah. Thought... We will take it. We're going to take a 30-second break. You're listening to ESPN Blacksburg, 93.1, 97.1. I drive for BT because the money is great. I drive for BT because the hours fit my class schedule. I drive for BT because the benefits are great. We all drive for BT. You can too. Join us. Welcome back here, Bill Brown Stadium, David Chris Field. The Bruins are trailing the Graham G men seven to nothing, but a big fourth down stop by the Bruins deep in their territory, and they will take over the ball at the eight yard line. First and 10, 3.54 to go here in the first quarter. Two receivers to the left, one to the right. Campbell gives the handoff to Ajay. It looked like he had an opening, but it shut down really quick. And I tell you what, once again, number 56, Connor Roberts coming from that defensive end position, and he came very quickly, and it's going to be a loss of yard on the play. And that, Brad, they run that, you know, that slanting front right there, and then they just beat our tackle, and it's just in the backfield, deep in the backfield. It was, it just happened quick, Brad. Yeah. We got to cut those defenders off right there, and then – Hopefully I, give us a little running lane sometime. Yeah, give it a little bit of time there. I tell you, Roberts is impressive. Yep. Very, very impressive. Blacksburg breaks the huddle. Ajay is beside of Campbell to his right. Campbell looks to his left. Now he's coming back to his right over the middle. And ball is tipped. And it looked like possibly the, the Graham G-man, number 13, might have came away with interception, but the ball hit the ground. I think we have some, look to me like a little rough in the passer right there, Brad. Looks like there's some, pen, a penalty flag is down, James. That will be huge yeah. advantage for the Bruins. That is correct. Mr. Sailors gives the rough in the passer penalty against the G-men. And that will be a 15 yard penalty and give the Bruins a first down that most importantly, it also gets them out of the hole. Hopefully Spencer is okay back there. You see him sort of shaking his arm. Uh, he took a pretty good shot. Uh, um, I uh, unfortunately all too well know about some of those hits from last year's Graham game. Uh, Parker played at the quarterback role, and he really took a shot uh, a number of times that night. And and it's you know a lot of it's sort of the same defense, and uh, yeah. just I mean they're coming at you. They're so. coming at you. And, and if we're going to throw the football, Brad, we're going to have to max protect. We're going to have to keep that tight end in. The running back's yep. going to have to protect. We're going to have to max protect, and play action is going to be very difficult to get a ball off. Snap goes and handoff to David Ajay. He tries to go over the right-hand side, and he is absolutely smothered up by number four, Mason Sawyers, and it is a loss on the play of four, maybe even five. It is five. It's going to bring up second and 15, 241 and counting here in the first quarter. 
you know, we've only got a first down by penalty so far, Brad. We, we, we need to get at least one more first down right now. Yep. Because yep. if we have to punt the ball away, maybe we could flip the field. But we've got to get another first down right got now. Got to find a way to get a little something yeah, going I mean, here. You know, we got some one-on-ones if we just give the quarterback time to throw the football. Campbell bobbles the ball, and he is going to be taken down quickly in the backfield. Snap just sort of slipped out of his hands there. And uh, he fortunately was able to get back on it, but it's going to bring up third and about 20. Um, you, you can tell Spencer's already feeling that pressure. He was before he pulling, actually pulling caught out. the football, he was stepping back. Yep. So the snap wasn't really that bad, but, you know, he's been under pressure all night long, he Brad. So he's already thinking, I got to get back here oh, yeah. just to be able to get the ball off. Got to so, get away. Absolutely. Yeah, now it's mentally. It's playing into yep. his head right now. Blacksburg's got two receivers to the left and single to the right. Snap goes back to Campbell, and there is no room for him to go. Somehow, it looks like he might have fumbled the ball in the end zone. It's going to be ruled an incomplete pass. Campbell is still down in the end zone there. Let's hope he is okay. I mean, he took the pressure. I mean, it just came from every direction right there. And um, fortunately... It can it, it's considered an incomplete pass, so it'll move yeah. it back up to the ten yard line. It could have easily been yeah. a, a safety there, no doubt. Um, no doubt. But uh, um, good job there um, by Nathan Woolwine falling on that ball just in case, you know. Liam Minna in for the kick for the Bruins. Back deep. Looks like number eight, Chris Edwards. Snap is back to Mena. Mena gets the kick off. It is a short kick that actually bounces at the 16-yard line, and that is where the G-men will take over at the 16. First and 10. You uh, know, we talked about that Graham offense. It's really that Graham defense. Oh. They are all Woo. over the place. They swarm. They attack swarm. you. They do. You have no time. I mean, they are impressive, Brad. They really are. I mean, there's a reason why they are still undefeated. Sure, sure. Graham breaks the huddle. Three receivers to the right. Tadrez Clements in the backfield beside of Meadows. It does another hard, Meadows does a hard camp count and he does pull the Bruins defensive line offsides. That will be a five yard penalty and they will have first and five from the 11. Oh, we don't want to give them, we don't want to give them any yards. No, it's taking a toll on us. So, yeah. you know, their defense is going to turn into this great offensive possession yep. for them uh, just because of way their snap is back to Meadows. Meadows gets his pass out to number eight, Chris Edwards. Edwards is fighting, and he finds his way into pay dirt once again for the G-men. That is his second touchdown reception of the night, 11-yard touchdown reception. Meadows to Edwards. You can and just feel it coming, Brad. It was just a matter of time. You that's know? right. Just a matter of time. Yep. You know, it's just a nice, pretty throw out there. You know, um, obviously, I think Meadows' strong points is his legs. But he does enough on the throwing aspect to keep you off balance, you know. Yeah. On for the point after attempt for the G-Men's, number 12, Dylan Nash. Snap is back, hold is down, kick is up, and that kick is good. Our new score here, 122 to go in the first quarter. Graham G-Men, 14, Blacksburg, 0. We are going to step away. You're listening to ESPN Blacksburg, 93.1, 97.1. Come and do a ride along. So I'd encourage anyone to do a ride along. I would definitely say come do a ride along. There's a ride along form on our website that you can do a ride along if you're willing to see the things that we do see in EMS sometimes. You do have to be prepared if you're going to do a ride along. Because ride along you actually come on calls with us and you can see exactly what's happening. Ride alongs are a fantastic opportunity for you not only to see the medical care that we provide but see the other members that exist at this agency and all the diversity and all the excitement that having different mindsets and different ideologies can bring to your experience in medicine and in, within the community. And there's no better experience than to actually see it. That way you can make your determination as to whether or not 
this is for you. We hope that it is. Come see what our facility is like. Come tour, come look at an open house. We are here 24 seven. You can go to our website and you can sign up for a ride along whenever it best suits you. Come prepared because we're not gonna take you on a fake call. We're gonna take you on a real call. So you're gonna get to see exactly what we get to see. Welcome back here, David Crisfield, Bill Brown Stadium. The Graham G-Men have taken a 14-point lead, one minute and 21 seconds to go in the first quarter. Graham tees it up for the kickoff. Dylan Nash uh, sets up for the Waterstone Mortgage kickoff. Back deep for the Bruins is number 11, Gordon Grisham Baden. Nash surveys the defensive front of the Bruins, and the kick is up. And it drives Grisham Baden back to the five. He bumbles the ball. He's at the 10. He's at the 15. Maybe gets it up to about the 17-yard line where he is brought down there by a host of G-men. You're talking about the whole team practice. Mm. I think I see the kicker back here. I saw all those white jerseys on top of Gordon right there. You know, there. they get down the field quick, don't they? Yes, they do. Talented group, man. Talented group of players. Uh, you know, you we talked about it earlier in the year. Oh right? yeah, and you, you look at them though. You know, you know they got some size. They're they're big, but every one of their kids, I mean, they look good. Like you can tell they've been in the weight room. They've been mm -hmm. working hard in the weight yeah. room, um, and uh, they just look very very athletic. And and that's exactly what we're seeing right now is just a very athletic Graham football team. Blacksburg breaks the huddle. We've got one receiver to the right, one to the left. Carter Ackerman goes in motion to the left. It is a hard count there by Campbell, and they do get the Graham G-man to jump off sides this time. Looks like number four, Mason Sawyers, got in there a little bit quick. So Campbell, you know, smart to go on that hard yeah. count. Get that pressure off of you a little bit. So that's a five-yard penalty against the G-men. Ball is spotted at the 22, first and five for the Bruins. Anything you can do to try to slow him down just a step. Ackerman goes in motion to the left. Handoff goes to Ajay. He's over the middle. He's at the 25. Takes it up to the 29-yard line, and that's going to be a Bruin first down there, and the chains will move. That's that's our first first down of the evening, James, yeah, besides, uh, besides the, the penalty. Yeah, exactly. And, hey, you know, it's that little stretch play that we normally run to the right or left. It's kind of that wide outside stretch play. And he just put his foot in the ground because they're pursuing so fast and so hard. Put his foot in the ground and cut it back. Have yep. a little opening. Uh, Did a good job yep. right there. And the Bruins, you know, they came out with a little bit of a different look, having like, you know, a, a couple of like blocking backs. Yeah. Snap is back to Campbell. Handoff goes to Ajay up the middle. <laughs> Ooh, and he is met immediately there. Uh, not a lot of room cranking there. Looked like number 21, Miles Raley, coming in on the initial contact for the G-men. No gain on the play. Brings up second and 10 for the Bruins. Yeah, David looked like he hit a wall right there. Yes. It was a collision, and, oh, man, It good was pop. definitely a collision for sure. Yeah, but, you know, Looks I like this, Brad. You know, back-to-back -back plays. He ran the football. You know, it, it, it's a great job, uh, Get a new person in there, give him yep. a quick break, get his breath. Then now he's ready to go back out and, and run another play here it, in a little while. It looks like the Bruins are going to let the clock tick down. That is going to be the end of the first quarter of play. Graham G-Man 14, Blacksburg 0. We will be back momentarily. You're listening to ESPN Blacksburg. Integrity, of course, is a key principle of the Blacksburg Police Department. That's both integrity of the organization, but also integrity of the individual that we're bringing to work on our team. You won't find better people anywhere than here at Blacksburg Police Department. I've found in my years working with a variety of businesses in, in Blacksburg that the merchants kind of know that the police are there if they need them. They're, they make themselves available. They come around, they introduce themselves, and, and just so that have an idea who's coming and that familiarity really, really helps. As a martial artist, integrity is a huge thing for us. So if I look at Blacksburg PD and, and law enforcement in general, 
the, the integrity they have, again, it goes back to the community and what they serve. You know, the amount of hours they put in outside of it and just in their community discussing things outside of their law enforcement, they try to interact with other people and they don't even realize maybe they're a law enforcement officer at that time and they're doing their job without people even knowing sometimes. Welcome back here, start of the second quarter, Graham 14, Blacksburg 0. Blacksburg's got the ball, second and 10 from their 29-yard line. Both teams have exited the sidelines, and they are set up ready for action. Bruins got a single receiver to the left and single to the right. Two wing backs in the backfield with running back beside of Campbell. Looks like that is Ethan Walker there. And pass is actually intended for Walker, but it's going to fall incomplete. Just not a lot of time there for Campbell to set up. And uh, he was just trying to get rid of the football. Brad, he can't run backwards fast enough. No. He really can't. I mean, it's just. I'm not so sure Usain Bolt could run fast enough backwards. <laughs> Man, I mean, they are just getting after it out there. Mm. Looks like the Bruins break the huddle. Ethan Walker is in the backfield with. Campbell, he's directly behind Campbell. Snap is back, handoff goes to Walker. He's over the left side. He is gonna pick up about a yard on the carry and that is gonna bring up fourth and nine for the Bruins from the 30 yard line. Just nowhere to go there, James. It looked like there was a hole there for a second and then it was just like, whoop, it just closed up. Yeah, it's... Hmm. Back deep four. The G-man is number six, Jamel Floyd. Set to punt it away is Campbell. Campbell takes the snap, the punt, and it is up, and it bounces into G-man territory at the 42, but takes a backwards bounce, and the Blacksburg Bruins are there to recover it on the 44-yard line. So that's where Jim uh, G-man will take over. 11-18 to go here in the second quarter. Graham 14, Blacksburg 0. Best punt of the night right there, Brad. I mean, I think it's their worst field position to be yep. besides the very, very first uh, That's right. kickoff. Uh, I tell you, you know, I mean, it's such a crucial thing. They're getting so much pressure up front. Yeah. If there is one little mistake, like if the snap's a little low, snap's a little high, a little yep. bobble, uh, they're going to block it because that's how much pressure they're getting. Um, but, but a great job there by Gomez with the snap and Campbell to get rid of it. G-men break the huddle. Meadows looks to the sideline for the play. Mm. Two receivers to the right, two to the left. I think they're taking a shot, Brad. And it looks like Meadows is looking, and he's going to go deep. And great defensive play there by number one, Javier Waldron of the Bruins. Pass was, it looked like he was going to come up with it. Pass once again, his favorite target, number eight, Chris Edwards. But Javier Waldron. Good defensive yep. play right there to come up and knock that ball down. Great job high pointing that football right there, Brad. But you could tell by our defensive setup and what they were kind of doing, you knew it was going to be some type of shot down the right, field. Right, right. And it looks like, uh, once again, two receivers right, two to the left. Meadows has it. He's going to throw it backwards to Tatres. Clements, and Clements is across midfield. He's at the 45 to 40, 35, 30, 20, 10, and he is in the end zone for a G-man touchdown. 56 yard, I, I guess that's gonna be considered a run because it was a backwards, backwards pass, pass, so it is gonna be a 56 yard run touchdown for Tadrez Clements. I would like to see that on replay, Brad, because I really think they only had 10 ball players on the field. Did they? Not unless they had a tight end that was lined up in the. They formation. might have. They might uh, have. I mean, I think they only had 10 guys on the field, and they still were able to accomplish that. Yeah, I uh, mean, well, when you've got a kid like Tadres yeah. Clements that's got those Shoot. wheels, whoo, looks like number 12, Dylan Nash on for the kick, and extra point is successful by Nash. Our new score here, 11.02 to go in the second quarter. Graham G-Man 21, Blacksburg 0. We will step away momentarily. You're listening to ESPN Blacksburg. What we're going to do first, we're going to ride down the Huckleberry Trail all the way to the little park by the way. If you guys want to run it.
Coming night not going so well for the Bruins. The G-Men strike again. 21 to 0 with 11.02 to go here in the second quarter. You're listening to Bruin Football here, which is exclusively brought to you by Keller Williams. Are you ready to upgrade your home or maybe it's time to downsize? Let Keller Williams help you with their team of professionals as they are ready to work with you and your entire real estate transactions. Keller Williams guidance every step. Graham approaches the kick and it's actually a squib kick down the middle. Uh, it looks like the Bruins do fall on it. Um, going to be probably the best field position that they have had tonight. Uh, looks like the ball is going to be spotted at the 37 yard line where the Bruins will take over. Try to catch us a little bit off guard. Yeah. Actually, the ball is going to be spotted. I'm not exactly sure where they're spotted. It looks like they're going to spot it at the 39 yard or 34 yard line. No, 39 yard line. I'm getting getting a little twisted here, James. <laughs> it's kind of that long that, shot memory well, coming that's through. That's it. That's it. That's right. <laughs> uh, well, you know, the, they had the the chains were moved up here, and then the official was back here, and uh, uh, Campbell <laughs> takes the snap, handoff. Ooh, handoff goes to David Ajay, and he is met immediately. It's going to be a little bit of a loss on the play. Be honest, I don't know which one hit him first, Brad. It I'm not real quick. sure either, but I'm telling you, whoever hit him, whew, they brought they brought it tonight. I, I just, tell you, I'm just glad to see Spencer back out there, man. He's, Me too. he's taking a beating, and uh, glad to see him back out there. I tell you, he's a trooper. You know, he's fought all season long, and uh, um, just real proud of his efforts. And and he's taken some pretty good shots this year. Blacksburg. Has, sends Carter Ackerman in motion to the right. Handoff goes to Jai over the left-hand side, and he is met once again behind the line of scrimmage. It's going to be another loss of two on the play. Brings up third and about 12, maybe even 13, for the Bruins. Ball spotted at the 30, in between the 36 and the 37 there, James. Yeah, going backwards again, Brad. They are just... I mean, yeah, it's a, it's a it's tough a situation. Same, it's just, you know, it's, yeah. it's like a replay over and over and over. I mean, they are just – they're pretty good football team, Brad. The, they, I mean. they really are. Ackerman goes in motion to the right. He sets up. Snap is back to Campbell. Campbell's looking to his right. He's got Ackerman out into the flats. He takes it over to about the 46-yard line where he is knocked out of bounds. I believe it's going to be a little bit shy of the first down, but a good positive – Actually, it is enough for a first down over there. Wait, wait, wait. How did they start the thing on the... Th I, well, that's, I, don't, I didn't get that one there, but it looks like they've given the Bruins a, a first uh, down. Uh, now they're moving them back. Yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah. Something's going on there. They're going to have an official's timeout. I didn't think it was enough for a first no, down, no. but then when I saw the chains move... Yeah, the series started on the 39. Right, right. You know, so it should be... It should be... The 49. And, yeah. So it should be fourth and three. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, the series started on the 39. But we'll yeah. see. We'll hey, see I mean, what happens here. I hate to be this way, Brad, but hey, why not go for it? You know? Oh, yeah. We, I mean, what do you have to lose? We, you know? We don't have anything to that lose. That was a nice little play right there. Yeah, you it know, just, it was able to get it. You know, Ackerman went in motion and um, the snap was there and he sort of slid right out into the flats. And, uh, um, yeah. you know, Campbell didn't have a lot of time, but he had just enough time to get it out to him. And, Decent little pickup there by Ackerman. You know, I guess a lot of teams, we would have gotten that first down, Brad. Be, you right. Know, but they are so fast. You saw their closing speed right there, and, and Carter's pretty daggone quick himself. Oh, yeah. yeah. So they, they are so fast. You saw that closing speed right there. And, uh, uh, you know, if that was any other team, you know, who knows? Looks like... Uh, it uh, looks like they're working with the chain crew over there to try to figure out where they are going to spot. Mm -hmm. And I believe they've got it fixed now to where it is. Uh, chain starts at the 39. I kind of liked how and, it was before. Though, well, though. it was a little bit better outcome <laughs> for the Bruins. Uh, yeah. It is going to bring up fourth and three for Blacksburg. Uh, ball spotted at the 46-yard line. But uh, it looks like Blacksburg's uh, football team, uh, the, the offensive group, is staying on the field. Looks like we are going to go for it here. Might just be one, like you said before, though, hard count. Just do whatever we got to do to try to 
Let's try to get a first down out of this thing. Looks like the head referee, Mike Sailors, comes over and talks with Coach Leonard, uh, letting him know the situation of what happened. Um, you know, I'm not sure. Most of the time with the chain crew, and we've got a great experienced chain crew, uh, most of the time the official on that side waves them to, to get sure. them to move. Um, you know, I don't know if that happened, and maybe it's just a mistake, but either way, it looks like uh, Mr. Sailors has got the um, chain crew back where they belong, and uh, and it is going to be fourth down for the Bruins, 9.36 to go here in the second quarter, and Bruins are going for it. Ackerman goes in motion, snap. Who moved first? That's going to be the big question. Yeah, this is where you're supposed to start pointing, Brad. Yep, it looks like it is going to go against the Bruins. False start will be against the Bruins, so that is going to mark the ball all the way back to the 41, and that is going to bring the punt team on here for Blacksburg. And yeah, that's a tough one right there. I mean, yeah. uh, you know. You had them jumped, really. Yeah. I mean, you know, the quarterback, the center, everybody did everything right except for a couple people right there. Yep, yep. You know, if I'm on the offensive line, though, I'm going to be pointing at the defense. Oh, hey, yeah. You did it's it you. First, it's man. you. Yeah. You did it. That's right. I mean, come on. <laughs> <laughs> We're missing somebody, it Looks Brad. like we are missing a player on the field. Uh, looks like Blacksburg is sending someone out there to get their 11 on the field. Looks like the Bruins are going to burn a timeout. Once again, for not having enough men on the field. So it is 9.36 to go here. We're going to step away momentarily. You're listening to Bruin Football on ESPN Blacksburg. Welcome back here, Blacksburg, Virginia, Bill Brown Stadium, Bruins trailing the Graham G men 21 to nothing. 9.36 to go here in the second quarter. Fourth and eight for the Bruins, so the punt team is on. Bruins had to call a quick timeout there due to not having enough people on the field, but now they have 11. And the snap is back to Campbell. Campbell kicks the ball away, and he drives it back to the 25, and it gets a great bounce. It's at the 20. Rolling all the way down to the 15-yard line. Terrific, terrific punt there by Spencer Campbell. Great snap, great punt. I mean, that ball, that was one of the Hector's best snaps of yep. the year right there. He had a little extra on that thing right there, Brad. It's a good job. And, uh, um, you know, I had seen Hector. Hector was actually playing a little bit inside linebacker on the last series. Looks like Thomas Boyd's back in there now for the Bruins. Well, this is, you know, Graham's worst starting field position of the night right here. Just got a report. Uh, Christiansburg's leading Cave Spring 14 to 0. Graham breaks the huddle. They've got two receivers to the right, two to the left. Tidrez Clements in the backfield with Meadows. Looks like number eight, Chris Martin, goes in motion. However, there is a penalty flag down. It is going to be illegal procedure against the G-men. So that'll be a five-yard penalty, and that will bump them back to the 10-yard line, and it will be first and 10 there for Graham. 9.21 to go here in the second quarter. Well, great opportunity to get a stop right here, Brad. If we can get one three and out right here, you know, we should get the ball back in great field position. Yeah, you're exactly right. We, we Currently, is a good field position. Looks like the handoff goes... Hold on. Looks like the handoff goes to number eight, Chris Edwards, and he is met there by a host of Bruins. They try to jet sweep, and he did a terrific job of picking up a little bit of yardage, but the Bruins did a good job of stringing it out there and not letting him get the big game. Yeah, Spencer's, Spencer was there to start with. He did a great job to be that first contact, and... Uh, Tell you what, you know, his toughness is showing. He's hurting out there, Brad. Oh, he's he still, is. He's he sure right is, but now. he's playing through it. Pick up a four on the carry. He's going to bring up second and 11. Ball is spotted at the 14 yard line. Metas takes a snap. He's rolling. He looks to his right, and 
he had a receiver out there and it is caught but short short gain on the play pass is caught by number 13 tristan haas but thomas boyd in on coverage there pick up of maybe uh six yards on the play so it's going to bring third and five but it looks like there is a penalty flag down and i believe that's going to be assessed against the g-men i believe it'll be offensive holding that's a spot foul right spot there spot foul that's going to be big because the it looks like the the spot is actually at the nine yard line mm -hmm. so that'll be half the distance so that'll push them back to in between the it looks like almost to the three yard line in between the three and four yard line and that's going to bring up second and extremely long for the g-men Oh, second and what, 21, 22 right here, Brad? Yeah, it looks, I mean, like, looks like almost 22. It's in between the 21 and 22. You know, they like to go to this three-by-one formation yep. right here, Brad, and, and this one-on-one -on -one yep. out here. They're probably chuck it deep, deep again. Meadows takes the snap. Handoff goes to Tydress oh. Clements over the right-hand side, but he is bottled up over there by the Bruins. And it looks like he might have picked up a few yards. He's going to take it up to about the nine. But a good job there by that Bruin defense of containing him. Yeah, Addison Bass did a nice job right there from his outside backer spot. David Oller coming, coming downhill from the safety position. Uh, you know, you know, it's it's third and fifteen, Brad. We can give up fourteen yards right here. That's right. So it, we just need to make sure we stop them within fourteen. Now G-men break the huddle the opposite side. They've got three receivers to the left and single to the right. Tydrez Clements once again in the backfield beside of Meadows. Meadows gets it, and he fakes. It's going to be a pump and go, and it looked like Meadows was going to be tackled in the backfield, but he somehow breaks free, oh, and man. he is still running. He's at the 20, 25, 30, all the way down to the 33-yard line. We should have had him behind the line of scrimmage, and he broke about four or five tackles there, James. Brad, that was... I just I still don't know how we didn't have him, to be honest with you. Uh, but the kid's pretty daggone strong. Got to give him a lot of he credit is. right there. He is. Powerful legs. You can yes. just see it. Ball spotted at the 33, 7 11 to go here. Graham gets themselves out of a hole, and it is first and 10. Three receivers to the right, single to the left, way wide at the left. Handoff goes to Didres Glimitz. He's off the left side. Now he breaks it back the middle. He's still moving forward. And he takes it all the way up to the 44-yard line. It looks like that's going to be enough for a G-men first down as a pickup of another 10 yards. You know, you're talking about a shifty guy. He really bounced back and forth, yeah. bouncing back and forth the whole time right there. I think he made us three guys miss. Well, he's not very big. He's 5'8", yeah. 150. Um, but you can just tell how shifty he is and how quick he is. Metis takes the snap. Handoff, fakes the handoff. Meadows going around the left side. He's at midfield, 45, and he runs over a Bruin defender and takes it all the way down to the 40-yard line. Looks like they're going to spot him at the 41, but nevertheless, a pickup of a first down, but there is a penalty flag down over close to the G-man's sideline. Sometimes that comes in the way of a holding. We'll see. Looks like holding is going to be the call against the G-man. It is a spot foul, and that was from the 46-yard line of, of Graham. So it will drive the ball all the way back to the 36-yard line of Graham, and it will be a repeat of first down. So it's going to bring up first and about 18. You know, we've said this about ourselves a few times this year. Sometimes we're our own worst enemy. You know, but Graham tonight shown that they've made – a lot of the mistakes too even though they're winning yep, yep. you know they put themselves in some tough situations you, you are exactly right three receivers to the right single to the left it's like handoff goes 23 looks like number 20 23 i believe it is 23 daniel jennings he's going to pick up about seven yards on the carry first action we've seen uh, of, of of jennings tonight it's going to bring up second and 11 from the 43-yard line. Our score here, Graham 21, Blacksburg 0, 5.48 to go here in the second quarter. Second and 11 is what we are facing on the field. I mean, Looks like single receiver to the left is Braden Watkins. They have three to the right. 
Jennings in the backfield beside of Meadows. Meadows is going to drop back. He's looking to his right. He's going to cross the middle. Pass was intended for number eight, Chris Edwards, but it falls incomplete, and that's going to bring up third and 11 for Graham. Pretty good coverage there by, by the Bruins. Uh, uh, looked like uh, Carter Ackerman in on that coverage. Looks like a Bruin is uh, coming off the field a little bit slow. They need to get another Bruin out there. Ethan Carpa goes out onto the field. The Graham, Graham is hustling up. They have got their line on the, on the ball right away. Two receivers right, two to the left. Snap goes back. And it looks like Meadows is looking to his right. Gotta He's got Tadres Clement. And I believe that pass is going to be picked off by number one, Javier Waldron. And Blacksburg will take over from the 40-yard line. Terrific play there. Break on the ball by Javier. You could see it coming. You could see Tadres Clements coming out of that backfield on like a wheel route. Yep. And, and Meadows just sort of lobbed it up, and Waldron made a great play on it and, and, and comes up with the INT. You know, that's, that's two nice plays tonight by Javier playing that zone coverage right there. You know, he did it once earlier, came over the top and knocked the ball away, and now this time coming over the top and getting the pick off. You know, he, he's, he's made two really outstanding plays for us, and those are big-time moments right there. They, they truly are, and uh, you love to see that and just love to see that continued fight. Bruins break the huddle. Campbell in a little bit of the pistol formation. He's looking down the field. There is a whistle blown. And it looks like it might be offsides against the G-men, so that'll be a five-yard penalty against Graham. You know, James, when I was doing some of my research on Graham in the last game that they played against Pulaski, I think they had 11 or 12 penalties in that game as well. Yeah. So, uh, so showing a little bit of undisciplined efforts there on their part with some of these penalties. Um, I'm sure Ryan has it. But yeah, how many do they have right tonight. now, Ryan? They are this will make it seven for 76 yards. Seven penalties or 76 yards. Snap is back to Campbell. Campbell's pass intended for Javier Waldron, nearly picked off by number 21, Miles Rayleigh. But ball falls incomplete. Brings up second and five from the 46-yard line of the Bruins. You kind of see Blacksburg. that safety right there coming downhill, Brad. You know, we were doing a little slant with the outside guy and a wheel route with our running back and that safety was kind of coming downhill for that wheel route but he was basically thrown you know yep. the ball was thrown right to him as he was moving toward his uh his uh his where he's supposed to be in defensive coverage Blacksburg breaks the huddle three receivers to the right he's looking across the middle he has Ethan Walker there but I believe the ball is going to fall incomplete um, you know, good enough ball there to, to, to be brought in, maybe a little bit behind Walker. Um, but he, nevertheless, ball falls incomplete. It's going to bring up third and five for Blacksburg. He was open. I mean, he was at the sticks, and, and it, it, it would have been a first down, I believe, there. But uh, you, you just see that pressure adding up. And, um, you know, it, it's taking its toll on Spencer, even though they didn't get to him that time. Just the way he's having to catch the ball and throw it right now, just to even have a chance. And they were sending the house right there. It looked like they had everybody coming after Spencer Campbell in this situation. And ball is going to fall incomplete there. He tries to heave it down the field during the middle of the field, but no one there. Looks like a flag on the far sideline. Yeah, I, I thought I saw one fly over there, and I don't know if it's maybe holding or, or something along those lines. Let's see what we got here, James. Sideline. Sideline warning is against Graham. Generally, generally that is just a warning for the first time, and then the next time it will be a penalty. So brings up fourth down. Ball spotted at the 46. Fourth and five. 509 to go here. Graham leading. Blacksburg 21 to 0 looks like uh punt team is coming on for the Bruins. You know, you got your quarterback back there at, at the punt formation. Maybe not such a bad thing to look at possibly a uh a fake punt. You know, they're bringing so much pressure on you there. It, it could be something that you could look at here. Well, we we still need to have our 11th ball player come out there though. We only have 10 on the field. You are yeah. right. Oh. Great, Great kick punt. by Campbell. He drives it all the way back to the 11, and it's getting a good bounce. And the Bruins 
they do fall on it right at the inch line of the end zone and that's where it will be down great hustle there once again number one javier waldron hustling down the field to down that ball and graham will take over inside of the one terrific job there by waldron yeah it's it's, it's great and you know in high school you should be able to grab that ball and carry it into the end zone just as long as you possess it that's right before you know it's different than college and and, and nfl so well he did a good job there and, and, and terrific terrific punt by spencer campbell i mean he yeah. drove that ball deep i mean that was i guess the ball was spotted on the the 46 i believe so i mean you know that was a 50 plus yard punt by campbell yeah yeah, it is standing. That's three big plays by Javier. Javier great punt, but, yeah, great punt. But he's he's making a case for ESPN Zeppelin's Player of the Game already. You know, yes, big first half here for Javier Waldron. 4:58 is the count here in the second quarter. It is homecoming night for Blacksburg High School. Uh, great crowd here uh, for Blacksburg. Student population, student body out there having a great time and playing, and. Uh, um, you know, you like to see that. And good crowd here in the stands as well. Graham brought a great crowd, James. You know, terrific job on their part, too. That's a Meadows good sets up in the end zone. Tidrez Clements behind him. Handoff goes to Clements over the left side. And he makes a terrific move. And he's at the 20, 25, and takes it all the way down to the 27-yard line. I mean, I tell you what, he just planted that foot two different times on opposite feet and just made huge cuts and uh, gets Graham right out of that hole, and they've got the ball spotted at the 27, and they are on the ball, ready to go, up-tempo. The chains aren't even set yet. Meadows looks to the sideline for the play. It is going to be a flag, and it's going to be illegal procedure against the G-men. You know, I... That lineman put his hand down, then he brought it back up and yep. caught it right there. You know, they go into this two-back set. They got, you know, their backs against the wall right there uh, at the goal line, so they went to the two-back set, and now they're back in. It's kind of a pro formation, but, you know, instead of bringing a tight end in, they have an extra lineman come in. That's right. That is exactly right. They do break the huddle. Looks like Tidrez Clements in the backfield directly behind Meadows. Number three, Sean Hughes is the blocking back. Keep going. Handoff goes to Clements. Clements pick up of about two yards on the carry, takes it up to the 25. That's going to bring up second and about 13 for the G-men. Good defensive uh, play there by the Bruins. Yeah, great job by Nathan Woolwine coming from this backside defensive end, just coming down the line hard and uh, – being right there to help make that tackle along with Spencer Campbell. Yeah. G-men break the huddle. They're in a tight formation. Single receiver to the right, single to the left. Tadres Clements moves from the left of Meadows to the right. Snap is back. Meadows rolls to his right. He's looking down the field, and he's got a throw there. Little bit high for his intended receiver, number one, Braden Watkins. Ball is going to fall incomplete, and that's going to bring up a third and 13 for the G-man. Tell you what, they have the tight end. It's, it's you know interesting formation there, Brad, and the tight end was lined up on the short side, so they went into a tackle over formation. Tight end was lined up where a normal tackle would line up, and he was just running straight down the middle of the field. Uh, really didn't have anybody lined up there, anybody to defend him. Right here, number 11. The, yep. he's, he's lined up as a you know, tackle position, but he is the eligible tight end. Metis takes the snap. He is going to option it out to Dadrez Clements, and Clements is going to be met there, but somehow he gets free from Campbell. He breaks back over to the right-hand side. He's at the 40. Takes it up to the 44-yard line. That was a terrific play there by Spencer Campbell. Had him right in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. And somehow the shiftiness of Clements breaks away and goes clear across the other side of the field to the Graham sideline and picks up enough yardage for a G-man first down. You know, that's twice tonight that we've had, you know, their players in our grasp and they end up getting first down. Last time was the quarterback Meadows that made a big play. Man, that was tough. That was tough. G-men break the huddle. 
Looks like Jennings in the backfield with Meadows. Handoff goes to Jennings over the right side. He's at the 50 into Bruin territory down to the 45-yard line. It's going to be another first down for the G-men. That was, a, that was pretty easy. Actually takes it. The ball is going to be spotted at the 44. So that will be a first down for the G-men. 3.05 and counting here in the second quarter. Graham is on the move. It looked as if we were going to keep them hemmed in, but they have found a way through Tydrez Clements to pick up big yardage there on that previous first down Don't play. Don't be surprised to see the tight end going down the middle of the field again right here, Brad. It there looks he like Meadows, he's going to he go for him, and it's going to be picked off by David Oliver, number eight. He's at the 30, 35, 40. And he is going to be tackled there at the 41. Terrific job there by David Oliver finding a way, just breaking on the football and picking Meadows off. That is the second interception of the night for the Bruins. So big time play there by number eight, David Oliver. Yeah, he just kind of threw that ball up like a punt. Really yep. wasn't, you know, a, a good pass at all and just kind of hung up. And, and David was Johnny on the spot right there. Yeah, you, you called it, Coach. I mean, they did exactly what you said. They were going to go right down the field to that tight end. You know, Virginia Tech did that play last night with the tight end, actually number 13. Yeah. And uh, it, it was successful there to start the second half, um, basically where they overload. And, and, you know, that tight end is placed where that tackle position normally is, but he's yep. an eligible receiver, you know. Yeah, when that tackle over, so he's... Yep. On the yep. hey. Blacksburg breaks the Take huddle. Advantage. Two, that's right. Two receivers to the left, single to the right. Campbell takes the snap. Handoff goes to Ajay. Ajay keeps driving his legs, but just no room moving there for Ajay. Maybe a pickup of a yard on the play. He's going to bring up second and nine for the Bruins. You know, this is probably the um, most attacking style defense we've seen all year long. I, it, they really are. And, you know, I mentioned that in the pregame, like when, uh, you know, my son Parker was playing last year. I felt like that this defense was the most physically aggressive defense that we we had faced. I mean, probably for him ever. Um, you know, Salem has brought some defenses in that have been pretty tough. Back when you had both of the Ramsey brothers and stuff like that, that aggressiveness. But I tell you, there's something special about this group here yeah, at Graham. They just attack, attack. There's no such thing as defense. They They, they just attack, so. Looks like Blacksburg is going to take their third and final time out of the half. It's 1.49 to go here in the second quarter. Second and nine is what we have on the field. We are going to step away momentarily. You're listening to Bruin Football on ESPN Blacksburg. We respect our police officers and they respect us. We have a unique community because we're a college community. They know how to meet our residents where they live. Police officers are really uh, first among all of us in, in American society. The only others who are kind of shoulder to shoulder with police officers I think are soldiers who are you know, serving domestically or internationally. So it's a pretty tough job. My brother's a New York City police officer, so I live day in, day out hearing stories of what he has to suffer from. I think overall, I think the community is doing their best to lift the Blacksburg Police Department up, and I think that the Blacksburg Police Department is doing their best to lift the community up and tell them, we are here for each other, we're a team, we have your back, you have our back, and that's the, you know, the main thing and the most important part of it. Welcome back here, Blacksburg, Virginia, Bill Brown Stadium, David Crisfield. Bruins are trailing the Graham G men 21 to nothing here, 149 to go in the second quarter. But the Bruins have the ball and they are on the move. It is second and nine from their own 43. Campbell surveys it, does a hard count, and it looks like there was a receiver that moved, but I believe the defense moved first. No, they are going to call a false start against the Bruins. That's going to be a five-yard penalty there. That's tough. It looked like that entire defensive front move before the receiver moved. So, I mean, yeah. it, to me, that's encroachment. But, nevertheless, the officials on the field see it as uh, a false start against the Bruins. That'll move them back. It's going to be second and 14. Ball is spotted at the 38. Campbell looks to his left. He connects 
Looks like Javier Waldron over there on that side. It's going to be a pickup of about six yards on the reception. Good job there by Javier. Hey, good, you know, good pass too right yeah, there. Yeah, very good pass. Quick that, and sharp, you that, know. That's, what, that's the only pass game we're going to be able to have tonight. That's right. Ball is going to be spotted at the 45. Bruins will be third down. It looks like it's going to be a timeout called here by the Graham G men. Um, we are going to keep it here with us. You're listening to Bruin Football brought to you exclusively by Waterstone Mortgage. Looking to finance your dream home? They can help, and now is a great time since the rates are still low. If you love your home, let's see if refinancing makes sense for you. Waterstone Mortgage. 128 to go here, James. Bruins trailing 21 to nothing. Um, good play right there. Spencer Campbell connecting with Javier Waldron. Uh, but it does bring up a third. And the scoreboard says six. I believe it looks a little bit more like about seven or eight. I have to agree with you right there, um, Brad. We really need a first down. We've really got to keep the ball out of Graham's hand. We can't you, give him one more possession. You really, you really do. And, and because that's the thing, I mean, for them, the big plays is what's got us. Yeah. You know, we've we've played fairly decent defensively yeah. tonight, you know, against a very good football team. Blacksburg leaves the sideline. It mm. looks like it's going to be a false start against the Bruins. Looks like the left side of the line got a little ambitious there, and that is going to be a five-yard penalty. You know, I still don't understand it. and I might not have seen it correctly, Brad. We had our left guard. He was not down in a three-point stance. He can stand back up. So uh -huh. why was that? I, I might not have seen it correctly. He right. might have been in a three-point stance, Brad. Yeah, I couldn't tell. I, I saw the movement, but yeah. ball is snapped. It's on the ground. Campbell finds a way to fall on it all the way back to the 30. That's going to bring up fourth and long and the punt team for the Bruins. Minute 20 to go here in the in the second quarter. Hopefully we can get another great punt away by Campbell. Oh, Graham called timeout to stop the clock right there. Okay, yep. So it is going to be a timeout. We'll take a 30-second break here. You're listening to ESPN Blacksburg. So have you applied for any jobs yet? Nah, I'm just going to sit all day. So am I. Next stop, Torkerson Hall. Don't just sit. Sit profitably. Drive for BT and get a $2,000 hiring bonus. Welcome back here, Bill Brown Stadium. High snap, but Spencer Campbell somehow gets to kick off and drives it into Graham territory. All the way back to the 37-yard line, it appears. Wow! Well, I tell you, I thought that I thought that was going to be blocked. It was a really high snap, but Campbell used his athletic ability and is able to go up and catch it and somehow get that kick away and uh, give the Bruins an opportunity here to try to keep these G men out of the end zone before the half. Minute 17 to go. Graham leading the Bruins 21 to nothing here in the second quarter. Graham breaks the huddle. Looks like they have an overload to the right-hand side. Meadows surveys it, takes the snap. He's looking to his left-hand side. Pass is intended over there for number 13, Tristan Haas. It looked like he was going to come down with it, but somehow the ball uh, hits the turf, so that's going to bring up second and 10 for Graham. Yeah, that's the first time we saw the stack receiver formation for him tonight. And, uh you know, and now we uh, also see Gordon Grisham in at uh, playing the quarterback position with David yep. Oliver now out. Looks like um, three receivers to the right, single to the left. Tydrez Clements in the backfield with Meadows. Meadows is going to toss it out to Clements. He's going to try to make a move. He does, but he's able to be brought down. Looked like number 52, Nathan Woolwine, does a good job of getting Clements down. Brings up third and nine for the Graham G men. G-Man back on the ball quick. It's tempo for him. Meadows takes the snap. He's looking down the field. He has got a lot of time. Pick it off. And it is picked off by number 14, Spencer Campbell. Campbell's back to the 50, and he lowers the shoulder and picks up an additional <laughs> two or three yards right there. I tell you what, that's a great job by Spencer Campbell just getting after it. Hey, another big play right there. 
whatever happens, still got a chance to score right here, most importantly, going into halftime, and we're getting the ball back to start the next. Terrific start job. Out. And you, you just love to see that fighter mentality out of Spencer Campbell right there. Ball is spotted at the 48-yard line. First and 10, 40 seconds to go here for the Bruins. Looks like they're going to move the ball. Well, looks like, uh, let's see what's happening. They're going to confer. The officials will confer. And they're going to spot it once again back at the 48. Yeah. Um, 48 of the Graham <laughs> G-Men. So there are 48 yards between the Bruins and the end zone. Blacksburg's got two receivers to the right, single to the left. Ajay's in the backfield behind of Campbell. Handoff goes to Ajay. Ajay's across the 50, takes it over to the 44-yard line. Does not get out of bounds, so the clock continues to spin here. I'll tell you what, though, that was one of the tougher runs I've seen David do yeah. in a long time. I mean, two-yard game, but that was a tough two yards yep. right there. Ball spotted at the 46-yard line. Campbell looks, two receivers right, single to left. Snap is back. He's going to go to Javier Waldron, but it is going to be picked off by number one, Braden Watkins. Watkins is across the 40. He looks like he's going to midfield. He's at 50. He's all the way down to the Bruin 41-yard line. There is a penalty flag down at the 50. We will have to wait and hear what that is. There are no, There is no time left on the clock, so it, it, it could be the end of the half, but we will have to wait to see what the penalty is. Look like a block in the back by Graham. And um, it'll probably just be declined and go to the half, to be honest yeah, with you. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, it looked like there for a second that Javier Waldron was going to be open, but I tell you, just a great break on the ball there by, by the G-Men's number one, Braden Watkins. I'm hoping that's the last play of the half. That would be a good thing for the Bruins if it was. Officials are continuing to confer. Penalty flag was... Uh, set on the 50-yard line. Not exactly sure what's going on here. It, it This maybe looks like it could be a penalty against the Bruins because no one is exiting towards the field house. But, uh, you know, um, not exactly sure what's happening down there. Graham leads the Bruins 21-0. to zero. You know, James, you take away some of the big plays yeah. that Graham's done. We've done a pretty good job defensively against a very good football team. We just haven't been able to do a lot offensively. You know, that defense that they have has shown a lot. So blocking the back wait, 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 against wait. the Bruins wait, doesn't wait. make a lot of sense because we didn't have the ball. So I, I, I don't understand that one. So I'll have to ask Mr. Sailors about that call. I'm, I'm not real sure what happened there, but he's coming over to explain it to Mr. Leonard. That puts Graham in real favorable field position. Yeah. Takes the ball all the way down to the 31-yard line, and they're going to get one play. Yeah. Here. So you have to think that they're going to the end zone. Uh, you have to, and you got to defend the end zone. Yep. That's what it comes down to. That's exactly you know, you right. You might as well just line up all defensive backs on the goal line. Yep. And, 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 you know, we're just knocking the ball down right here, Brad. Looks like uh, the G-Men leave the sideline. And it looks like Tydress Clements in the backfield. Got three receivers right, single to the left. Tydress Clements goes in motion, and he sets up to the left-hand side. And looks like Meadows is looking. Actually, this That's is Shockley. That's, Shockley goes down the field, and it is going to be knocked down by yeah. the Bruins. So that is going to be the end of the half. First action we've seen at quarterback for Jonathan Shockley. But good defensive series there on that last play by the Bruins. And that's going to wrap us up here for the first half. We've got a Graham G-Man lead 21-0 over the Bruins. But Bruins are hanging tough. They're playing hard, James. They're definitely hanging tough and playing hard. And I think we're going to see a lot more of Shockley in the second half. I think you might be exactly right, James. Absolutely. So, well... We're going to step aside here for a couple minutes. When we return, we'll bring you the Sheeler Motor Mile halftime show. As we mentioned before, it is homecoming night here in Blacksburgville. You're listening to Bruin Football on ESPN Blacksburg.
One thing about our college town is it's not a homogenous group of people. There are 50 or 60 different ethnicities of people who are attracted to come to Blacksburg and to Virginia Tech, and always a variety of activities. A police officer might be involved in a festival one day, downtown patrolling the next day, and on the third, a visit from a state or national dignitary. And it's one of the things we love about this town. I, I see service as something that, you know, there's so much dedication from somebody that puts in the time to take care of others. So officers that are in the field especially, their service to the local community is beyond what most people understand it is. There's a couple of officers, Jim's one of them, he comes in and it's always a very pleasant, hey, how you doing today? As he just kind of walk around and let people know that he's here for their protection. But it's good to have a good conversation with them. You know, those are things you like to see because it makes people feel good and comfortable. You know, integrity is something you learn, and I know that, it, you know, I teach my kids all the time, what is integrity? It's doing the right thing when nobody's looking. And it's something there that is the base of your foundation. Are you a person with integrity or are you not? And I know, based on the people that I work with on a day-to-day -day basis here in this gym, these are people who know right from wrong and who want to do what's best for the community. The police department is a friendly partner to all businesses in town. They're patrolling a site like mine, you know, um, at any given time of the day to make sure no one's trespassing past closing or you know, someone could be vandalizing the building. I worry about that, you know, when, when we're closed. And so it's nice that the police department is making its rounds to help prevent something like that. So you know, thank goodness the police department are here for helping to keep the place safe. Well, one of the core values of the department is respect, and that's the officers having respect for each other, having respect for the community, and then us as town management having respect for our department and, and making it a place that really officers want to come to work every day. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for your 2022 Blacksburg High School Homecoming Court Seniors! And now finally, this year we will be honoring the top three senior representatives that received the most votes from their peers. In no particular order, our top three Homecoming Court members are, drum roll please, Diana Allen, Evan Foley, and Quinn Worley. Your gift bearers, Tessa Davis and Keegan Powers, along, alongside Mr. Simpson, will step forward to officially recognize our top three 2022 Homecoming Court members. Congratulations, you may exit the field. Ready to jump up? One, two, three. Oh, here he comes. Welcome back here, Blacksburg, Virginia, for the Waterstone Mortgage second half kickoff. It looks as if Nash drives the Blacksburg defender back deep near the goal line, and it is Gordon Grisham-Baden that brings it back up to the 15, and 
he is met immediately there. Uh, looks like number number 31 for the G-Man, Gabriel Lilly. And I tell you what, Gabriel Lilly brought a load when he came back through there. Bruins are going to take over at the 17. Um, G-Men up 21 to nothing here, James. Uh, probably not the field position we wanted to have to start the second no, half. No, it wasn't. But, man. you know, we didn't give up an onside kick, so that's a positive. <laughs> that's right. Campbell in the shotgun formation. Handoff goes to Ajay, and he is met in the backfield. That's going to be a loss on the play. Look like... Uh, once again, just pick one, Brad. Yeah, it looked like <laughs> it looked like number fifty-six. I believe it was fifty-six. Uh, actually, no, looks like number fifty-two of of the G men, Caden Rotenberry. Whew. Hey, whoever hit him hit him hard. Yes, he did. David uh, Ajay comes to the sideline. Back in the game at the running back position is number six, Ethan Walker. Campbell takes the snap, second and 11 here. And it is picked off and intercepted, and Graham's number three, Sean Hughes, just a regular tip drill right there. He tipped the ball up and came down with it, and he took it back for a pick six. And that gives Graham a 27-0 to zero lead pending the extra point attempt. That was quick, Brad. Just really great individual effort right there. Oh, yeah. You know, Got to yeah. give him a lot of credit. Uh, we were just trying to do a little swing pass out to the to the running back in the flats right there, and uh, and he just read it well, just tipped it up. and He really heck did. Heck of a play. Number 12, Dylan Nash on for the point after. Snap is bobbled, and it looks like we are going to tackle him over at the hash marks, and it is going to be an unsuccessful PAT attempt. It looks like David Oliver in on the tackle for. Well, actually, I think it's actually, Gordon Actually, I'm sorry, Grisham. that was Gordon Grisham Baden in on the tackle for the Bruins. So our score here, 11-10 to go in the third quarter. Graham G-Man, 27, Blacksburg 0. You're listening to ESPN Blacksburg 93.1, 97.1. For me, it is such an honor, frankly, to be in that position when people need help. They have nowhere else to go. They have no idea who to call. They call 911 and I'm the one who shows up. What an honor that is to be able to provide care and compassion to my neighbors, my friends, my peers from the community. And you know, it's not always life-threatening situations. It's not always uh, minor situations. No matter the level of care provided or the complexity that's needed to provide adequate health care to these neighbors, that's what we do. Right? We're not in it for the money, we're not in it for the fame, we're in it to serve others. And that's what makes our agency so great. For me, it's living out my childhood dream. Um, this is something I've wanted to do since a child. And walking in and seeing a bay with six ambulances, two squad trucks, UTVs, SUVs, it is a little boy's dream come true. And the fact that I get to do that every weekend is something I wouldn't have anywhere else. Welcome back here, Bill Brown Stadium. Graham strikes quickly here to begin the third quarter. They did the little tip drill, and Sean Hughes comes away with a pick six. Graham leading the Bruins 27 to nothing. Looks like Dylan Nash on for the Waterstone kickoff. He drives the ball back to the 10-yard line. And looks like Gordon Grisham Vaden on the run back on the return, takes it up to Looks like about the 25-yard line where he's met by uh, Graham G. Men, and that's where the Bruins are going to take over, James. First yeah. and 10 from the 25. At Mason Sawyer's, you know, he just came right through there, made a nice tackle on that play. Uh, I tell you what, they get down the field, they're athletic, they're fast. Uh, you know, but, they have a number of players that go both ways. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. And, you know, the, the biggest challenge, I think, are we going to have a problem here again? One of the Bruins hustles off the field. Blacksburg's got one receiver to the right, one to the left. Handoff goes to Ethan Walker over the left-hand side. He's met in the backfield. It's going to be a loss of two on the play. Brings up second and 12. 10.55 and counting here in the third quarter. Walker's a little slow to get up, but he does go back to the uh, huddle. 
Do we have enough on the field, Brad? It looked to me like we only had ten yeah. there. One of the one of them hustled off, and then, but it looked like they had ten. But it looks like Gordon Grisham Vaden is going on for the Bruins now. Yeah, you know we've got a lot of bodies that are going down. We do. We we definitely do. We we couldn't afford to have that because we had a number from last week. Yep. Blacksburg breaks the huddle. Campbell's in a shotgun formation, whistle blown, and it looks like Blacksburg is going to call a timeout. I, I don't think they really knew exactly what was going on right there. Yeah, trying um, to get that 11th player on the field, and that slowed up the operation. Yeah. Now we're back to almost really by the time we snapped the football, we would have been in delay a game. So yeah, it's uh, you know when you start having those injuries and you got new people coming in at new places and those types of things, it can. Definitely get yeah. pretty confusion, uh, confusing at times, and uh, I think that's sort of what happened there. And you know, we're we're at a really crucial position. We're back deep in our territory, mm -hmm. and you don't want to have any additional mistakes. And and uh, um, so, you know, hopefully Coach Leonard's uh, able to to talk them through this here, and um, we'll see what happens. But uh, yeah, it looks like uh, um, David Ajay has came out of the game. It looks like he's being attended to by uh, the doctors and possibly, I guess, maybe that is the athletic trainer there. Um, Bruins leave the sideline. Graham is already out at the ball, ready to go defensively. Bruins have got two receivers to the left, single to the right. Blocking back on the right-hand side. Ethan Walker's in the backfield with Campbell. Snap backs to Campbell. Campbell looks down the field. He's throwing, and it is almost intercepted there by the G-men, but it does fall incomplete. Wow. I'll tell you, I mean, for a second he had a step on him, but just a little bit underthrown right there. That's yep. the most time we've had to throw the football this half so far. Of course, it's been a, you know, we just started. You're right. But, um, Good coverage there by number six, Jamel Floyd. Like I said, it was intended for Gordon Grisham Vaden, but uh, uh, Floyd makes a good play on that, but unable to come away with the interception. So it brings up third and 12 for the Bruins from the 23. Campbell goes back, and he throws it across the middle. It looks like it was intended for Javier Waldron, and he and the grand player are fighting for it, but I believe that defensive back – for Graham may have come away with it. We'll see what happens. It looks like it's simultaneous possession there. I guess it'll be up to the officials. Um, Javier Waldron's still holding his own right there, so great job there by Waldron. Yeah. I mean, he tell you what, man. He's just it played is, a heck of a football game. I tell you what, he just, he just got that reception right there. Great job by Javier Waldron. It looked like it was going to be an interception. And he just fought for that ball, and, and that gives the Bruins a first down. He stole that ball, Brad. He did. He did. He stole that ball. That was a great job right there. Huge first down. Oh, Huge uh, yeah, first down. for sure. I mean, and that, I mean, you just love to see that. Uh, um, I mean, he's just giving everything he's got today. I mean, he's getting after it. Gotcha. Oof. Bruins break the huddle. Two receivers to the left, two to the right. Walker to the right of Campbell. Campbell takes the snap. He's looking to his right, and it is going to be picked off. It looks like number one on the pickoff, and he, he fumbles the ball, and then it's picked up once again by number four, but it, it looks like they're going to be spotted dead. So number one, Braden Watkins with the interception return, takes it back, fumbles the ball at about the three or four yard line, and number four, Mason Sawyers, picks it up i thought that he'd actually taken it in the end zone but uh, uh yeah. it, it looked like um he it must have had his knee down there and they spot the ball at the one you sort of could see that one coming i mean there was double coverage over there and um they just made a great break on the ball yeah brad and, and you know spencer never gave up on the play he's actually the one that knocked the ball loose right down there look like uh but yeah that um they just kind of that corner just kind of sat down oh penalty I looks like there is a penalty flag on the return, okay. Uh, so it's on the return, so that will spot the ball. Blacksburg will still be on defense. Graham will take over offensively. Ball is spotted at the 28-yard line where it will be first and 10. Here's that tackle over formation again, yep. Brad. Sure is. Got an overload to the right. 
Handoff goes to Datres Clements, and he is over the right side. He's back to the middle. He's still moving all the way down to the five, and he's still pushing through. And I believe he is going to be marked short of the end zone, but he takes it down within the one-yard line. Tydres Clements just doing his thing once again. 27-yard uh, run. They are almost made it into the end zone. You know, as impressive as the run is, you know, good job with the run, but the way those linemen followed him down oh, the field, man, you know, I once know. it started becoming a rugby scrum pile type thing, they did a great job of just yep. pushing them forward, getting an extra couple yards. You are exactly right. Overload to the right-hand side. Shockley, or actually, that's Meadows. Meadows hands it off to Tydrez Clements, and he walks in untouched for another G-man touchdown. 9.02 to go here in the third quarter. Looks like they're going for two, Brad. Well, the last one, you know, they had the bobbled snap, and yeah. so I guess they're going to try to get those points back. You are correct. Kicking team is not coming on. Looks like they're in the huddle. Meadows is calling the play. And looks like Tadres Clements to the left-hand side of Meadows. Overload once again to the right, and it is the same play, and Tadres Clements walks right in the end zone untouched. Two-point conversion successful. Our new score here, 9.02 to go in the third quarter. Graham G-Man, 35, Blacksburg, 0. Yeah, Brad, we didn't twice, two plays in a row. We didn't line up correctly. We had no edge defender, no outside nope. linebacker out there. And, you know, as soon as you make a mistake like that, it always seems like it happens. They run oh, right yeah. to it. They're going to go right to it. That is exactly right. We're going to take a 30-second break. You're listening to ESPN Blacksburg, 93.1, 97.1. I drive for BT because the money is great. I drive for BT because the hours fit my class schedule. I drive for BT because the benefits are great. We all drive for BT. You can too. Join us. Welcome back here, Bill Brown Stadium. Graham G Men 35, Blacksburg 0, 902 to go in the third quarter. Number 12, Dylan Nash with the Waterstone Mortgage kickoff. Drives Gordon Grisham Vaden all the way back to the end zone, and the ball will travel into the end zone. So that will be a touchback, and the Bruins will take over possession at the 20. Well, Brad, it's tough. It's tough. Two quick scores right there in less than three minutes. The interception and then the other interception that was returned. Right. They started the ball around the 30-yard line, 27-yard line. It's, you know, now we got a running clock. It's, we've been here before, though. Yeah, you know, it's, uh, it's tough. We just got to keep fighting here. I mean, this is a good football team that we are facing, uh, but we just got to keep fighting. Ackerman goes in motion to the right. Snap is back, handoff goes, fumble on the play, and it looks like the Graham G-Men have recovered the football. Looks like handoff goes to the running back for the Bruins, and it just as soon as he got hit, the ball popped loose, and uh, Graham comes away with the fumble recovery. Whoo! Just not I mean, going it's, our way. You know, I mean, it, it, you, you can't. You can't draw it up to – I mean, that's just oh, – this is tough. And it, and it all starts with Graham's defense. Oh, yeah. You know, their offense is pretty good. You know, they, they make some their fair share of mistakes, but their defense is just getting the job done. And we've had our opportunity, too. I mean, they've, they've given us the ball oh, yeah. quite a few times. You know, we, we've heard about Single this a lot. Uh, defenses win championships. Graham in their direct snap to Tadras. Clements, he's over the right side, makes a shifty move. He's still going. He's at the five, and he is in the end zone for a 17-yard touchdown run. He made that look too easy, James. Tell you what, man, he is shifty. He can go side hmm. to side as quick as anybody I've, I've oh, yeah. seen. I don't know if I've seen any other back that's able to cut on the dime the way he has this year. No. 
you, you made the mention earlier when we were talking almost uh, uh remind you a little bit of ty quest terry that played here a few years back and he's got that same type of shiftiness and, and yeah. speed snap is back for the point after attempt dylan nash is kick is up and good our new score here 820 to go in the third quarter Graham G-Man 42, Blacksburg 0. We will step aside. You're listening to ESPN Blacksburg. My name is Rob Speeden, and I'm a search mission coordinator and a tracking specialist on the search and rescue team. Hey, I'm Bob Barnes. I'm the light technical rescue coordinator. Hey, I'm Drew Manzella. I'm the extrication discipline lead. I'm Josh Poisonberry. We're part of the technical rescue group. And one of the cool parts about technical rescue is that we are able to do what we do on a daily basis bring those expertise that they were. Some of us it may be uh, mechanically inclined, some of us it may be more technology oriented, and we're able to bring that to the table. So Blacksburg Rescue Squad, Blacksburg Volunteer Rescue Squad is a unique organization. We have a lot of equipment that you don't see around many rescue squads. If you go out there and look in that bay, you're going to see that about half the vehicles, half the equipment are to get the patient to the hospital. The other half of the vehicles in that bay are to get the patient to the ambulance. And that's what we do. I've said it before, and you know, I'll keep saying it. There's a, a thinking outside of the box, problem solving type component that really goes along heavily with technical rescue. No two rescues are ever going to be the exact same situation. There's going to be an element of sizing up the situation and figuring out how to best approach it that's going to be safe but also effective. There's a lot of opportunity for people within the, the different ranks that we have here to do different things that are all problem solving oriented. I would say that just having a team like this, a multidisciplinary team that works on a variety of challenges together is a phenomenal family-oriented group and a, a great challenge and learning opportunity for anybody in the community. Welcome back here, Blacksburg, Virginia. The Bruins are trailing 42 to zero here in this homecoming matchup with Graham. Uh, definitely not the outcome the Bruins are uh, have been looking for, but I tell you, this G-Men team, they are special. That's for sure. Dylan Nash's Waterstone Mortgage Kick drives. Looks like number 11, Gordon Grisham Vaden, all the way back to the 10. He's at the 20, 25. He's still running hard. Takes it up to the 27, maybe 28-yard line. Good hard run there by Gordon Grisham Vaden. But uh, I, I tell you, James, it's, you know, it's just a tough, tough setup right here. You, you play a team like this, it's, uh, it's, it's just, it's difficult. And, and yep. you know, we, we talked about it in pregame a little bit about our out of district opponents. And, you know, I mean, it's, I mean, every one of those teams we played, I mean, are tough. I mean, they yep. are good football teams, physically stronger than we are. Uh, in, in, in most every aspect. Yeah. Um, and it's just, it's tough for these young men to keep doing that week after week. Snap back to Campbell. Handoff goes. Ball is on the ground once again, but it whistle is blown. We got a flag over there, it Looks Brad. like Yeah, it looks like there is a penalty flag. Uh, handoff went to David Ajay. He's down on the field at the 25-yard line. Penalty flag is positioned at the 27. Um, I tell you, we're we're really fortunate that 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 they called that ball down. That yes, they said are. he was down because I'm not so sure that he was. I mean, it was it was close. Uh, and you know that defense. I mean, they're just so aggressive and attacking. That was number 23, Daniel Jennings, which we saw him on you know on the offensive side a few times and. He just, you know, he made some things happen right there, but uh, uh, fortunately they're going to blow it dead. Yeah. And uh, looks like David Ajay is getting up on his own power, and he's walking off the field. And mm. Bruins will retain possession. You know, you talked about it before, Brad. You talked about how you mentioned last year it's one of Parker's toughest games yeah. he's played in, right? You know, they're a physical bunch, and they really, really are. And, it's taking its toll on us. Oh, it is really it, taking its toll. On you us. you can see. I mean, I, I you know I'll be honest with you. Like um, the the hardest thing, the the toughest thing that I see with this is, you know, we've played some pretty tough opponents already this year, and we've been had some pretty lopsided uh, defeats. But most of the time, even through those defeats, 
we still had pretty good body language and energy and those types of things, but you can just see tonight. Yeah. I mean, they they you, they they just don't have that. Penalty flag was illegal procedure against the Bruins. That penalty is going to be declined, so it's going to bring up second and 10. 27, the ball spotted at the 27-yard line. In at the tailback positions, number 42, Thomas Boyd. Handoff goes to Boyd. He runs straight up the middle. Uh, good positive yardage there for Boyd. Pickup of about two or three yards. Uh, you, you do know one thing. When Thomas comes through there, he's going to give you a couple yards most of the time at least. He's going he's gonna to lower his shoulder and, and, and try to try to pick up some yards. So it's going to bring up third and nine for the Bruins. He's a load, Brad, and, you know, he always, when he's in there, he's always playing hard. You mm -hmm. know, like Spencer's always playing hard. Gordon Grisham always playing hard, play after play after play. That's right. Doesn't always get the results we want, but always playing hard. Handoff goes to Boyd once again. He's across the 30, up to about the 30 to maybe 33 yard line where he's going to be brought down that's going to bring up um fourth and about five for the bruins so punt team does come on for the bruins you know another one there we have to throw in uh we're just playing hard all the time 64 Braden Damasi. we we've we've talked about him a lot throughout the year and you, you know when he steps out there he's going to give you everything that he's got to and um, you know, you just you, you hate it, hate it to that these kids can't find a way. High snap, Campbell does come away with it, and he somehow gets to kick away again. Bounces at the 40 all the way back into Graham territory, and the ball is going to be spotted at about the 32-yard line. That's where Graham will take over. 6-11 to go here in the third quarter. 42 to nothing is the score. I, uh, we are in a continuous clock setup. Uh, I guess change of possessions, they do stop the clock, and then they will they will roll it. Um, sure. Tough just, one. You, yeah, you just don't know even who's going to be able to come out on the field right now yeah. sometimes, Brad. Yeah, that's um, right. Well, and then, you you know, you think about this, and you, you go out there because, I mean, you know, Graham, Graham's not going to let off, that's for sure. They, they still got their people out there, and they're going to they're gonna try to score as much as they can. Snap is back to Meadows. Ty dress Clements over the left-hand side. He's at the 40. He's at the 50. Takes it inside Bruin territory, the 35. He's all the way down to the 20-yard line. Actually, that looks like that might be number six. Yeah, that's Jamal. Jamal Floyd there. Those numbers get scrunched up, and it's a little <laughs> bit hard to see, but both of them are, are great running backs. But uh, he does take it down deep into Bruin territory. Gets knocked out of bounds, I think. It looked like it looked like he stepped out of bounds right there. You couldn't really tell. Yeah. He kept moving, but uh, uh, so he, he evidently stepped out of bounds at the 37. So it's going to be first down and 10 for the G-men. 5:23 and counting here. We have just that this formation. We have just not been able to stop anything no. out of it, Brad. Handoff goes to number 23, Daniel Jennings. Jennings over the right hand side, and he is in for a G-men. Touchdown, 37-yard run there by number 23, Daniel Jennings. They strike again. Well, it's quick. It kind of kind of feels like, you know, the, the first quarter versus bottom time. Yes. To, to be honest with you, Brad, it just, you know, nothing is going our way. Of course, we're not making it happen either. No, but, no, uh, no. Uh, you know. It's tough. And, you know, you, you, we were talking about, you know, some of our, uh, you know, getting – Getting beat up a little bit here in, in the game and stuff. And uh, looks like Dylan Nash on for the point after attempt. Snap is down. Kick is up. And it is good. But the other thing that you look at, James, is you throw some of your younger players in there. And then, you, you know, sometimes that's a really tough position for them against, you know, if they're not, if they're not bringing in some of their subs, yeah. I mean, that's a tough position, you know, because you know that some of your kids are not ready for that, yeah. you know. Uh, so it's so, just it's just you know it's just rough, Brad. It's just rough. <clears throat> you, you know you look out there the body language obviously mm -hmm. it's just not there today and that's uh, it, you know this it was in the first half. I mean we were playing hard and it's just these these quick scores here in the second half has really put yeah. us on another dimension there and you hate to see it. I, I know the kids are frustrated and uh, mm. uh, you know my heart goes out for them. You know, that first half we talked about the penalties. You know, Graham was her own worst enemy in the That's first right. half, really. 
we stopped them a couple times here and there, but they kind of stopped themselves by putting themselves in some tough positions yep. with their penalties. And, you know, they haven't really done that yet this half. That's so. right. Well, mm. you know, I mean, they, I mean, they've only had a few touches, to be honest, yep. you know. I've got some score updates, James. Uh, Glenver with the lead over Radford, 27 to 24, Ooh. and Liberty Christian 20 to zero over Amherst. Latest that I have heard. Wow, those are some quality, quality teams, quality games right there, bro. Oh yeah. <laughs> Dylan Nash with the Waterstone Mortgage kickoff. He's going to drive it back deep. Uh, Ethan Walker at the 20 yard line with the reception. He's at the 25, somehow squirts through. He's at the 30, 35, and takes it up to about the 36-yard line where the Bruins will take over first and 10. Just kind of waited back there, waited back there, and finally an opening showed up, and he and he hit it. Uh, yeah, he, you know, he, he did a good job. He found, like, that little hole and was able to pick up some decent yardage. And, you know, every time we take the field, Brad, I'm always wondering who's coming out, who's coming out, just right. because of, you know, we've got a lot of issues going on right now. Yeah, you, you are you are exactly right. Uh, looks like Ethan Walker's actually going to come out now. It looked like he was holding his side there a little bit. Uh, so we've only got 10 on the field right now. And the Bruins are going to call a timeout. That will be their second charge time out of the half, 4.39 to go. We will step away. You're listening to Bruin Football on ESPN Blacksburg. Yeah, there's water. There's a stream running under this building. All of these restaurants. That's so cool. I know. It used to just, before these buildings were here, it was just out of the open, and they buried it under the street. Thirty-nine to go here in the third quarter. Um, good return there by Walker, but uh, Walker does come over to the sideline after that. Uh, so Blacksburg calls a timeout so that they can try to get their personnel out onto the field. Um, looks like uh, Thomas Boyd coming back in at that running back position. Receivers. Looks like we've got Gordon Grisham Vaden. Ethan Carpa, as well as uh, um, our what has been our main playmaker tonight, uh, Javier Waldron over on the far side in the single receiver set. I don't think Javier has come off the field, Brad. No, he's and he's had a great game. Campbell surveys the defense. Snap goes, handoff to Thomas Boyd, and he's met in the backfield, but he falls forward. But it is still a loss of two on the on the play. You talk about falling forward just to get a loss of two, Brad. I mean, holy yeah. cow! Yeah, I mean, about the time that he got the handoff, I mean, they were they were in on him. Uh, but but uh, you know, big strong kid, and and he uh, uh, finds a way to fall forward most of the time. And he tries to punish somebody. In he the does when too, when he so. when he runs, he really does, and and defensively. Blacksburg breaks the huddles. Two receivers to the left, single to the right. Campbell is looking. 
Graham showing blitz. Snap is back on the ground. Campbell somehow comes away with it. And it is caught by Thomas Boyd over there. And Boyd is able to pick up maybe a yard or two on the reception. Um, he was really close to being able to break that, but not, not able to break it. It's going to be third and ten for the Bruins there. They're still swarming, Brad. They, still I mean, swarming. they are. I mean, they are not going to let up. And we knew that coming in that they weren't going to let up. And uh, they they just they got their kids playing. It looks like that he's he's put some different players in. He does. He but does. he's not going to change the style of play no, that he does. You not know? at all, Brad. They're still Co aggressive. Coach Palmer's done a great job in, with Graham. Campbell takes the snap. He looks to his left. He throws. He's got Javier Waldron. Javier keeps going and is trying to get the first down. He gets it all the way up to the 45, but they are going to be about two yards short of the first down. That's going to bring up fourth and two for the Bruins. I would imagine that we're going to go for it here, James. I mean, what else do you have to lose? You know, it's 251 and counting in the third quarter. We're down 49 to nothing. Um, I tell you. Just do the same play over again. Oh yeah, that's yeah. that's that's exactly right. Just get I mean, past the sticks, Javier, and throw him the football. You know, oh heck yeah. They did. Like Blacksburg did a hard count and actually got the defensive line for um, for the G men to jump off sides. Look like number seventy one there, Tarun Wood. Um, gets a little bit quick there out of the defensive stance, and that's going to give the Bruins a first down. Ball will be spotted at the 50-yard line at midfield. So um, get another four downs here, see what we can do with it. Ethan Carpa, the single receiver to the left. Hopier Waldron to the right, along with Gordon Grisham Baden. Handoff goes to Thomas Boyd over the middle, and... He is met, but he's still just cranking through, and he's going to pick up about two or three on the carry into Graham territory. You know, they had him in the backfield, but he just kept moving. And uh, you, you talked about earlier, you know, he likes to punish him when he runs. And, yep. you know, um, he's doing a good job there of picking up just a few yards. And he lowers that shoulder when he comes through, and that's what you got to have, you know. He earned those yards, Brad. He did. I mean, those were those were his yards right there. He didn't get much help. Uh, you know, that they're still coming after us pretty good right here. Uh, that's a, that's a well-earned two yards right there, Brad. It really is going to bring up second and eight. Ball's inside Graham territory. Snap is back to Campbell. Campbell fakes it, and he throws out into the flats to Carter Ackerman. It's going to be a pickup of about seven uh, on, on the reception, and that's going to bring up third and one for the Bruins. Ball spotted at the 41 of the G-men. A little progress right there. A little progress. Yeah. You know, that little that little pass into the flats has been open tonight, and I think a lot of it has to do with just that that aggressiveness play from defense and just getting that penetration, and you so they're able to sort of slide that out in there. Well, he's coming across. Carter's coming across behind the line of scrimmage, so, you know, he he's kind of gets lost in there. Sometimes it's yeah. hard to see him, and uh, those safeties are trying to track him down. But once he gets the ball a little bit, um, he's pretty quick. Handoff goes to Thomas boy. Boyd. He's over the 40, 35. He runs over a G-man. He's at the 30. Takes it all the way down to the 29-yard line. Great run there by Thomas Boyd. I mean, they somebody came up to, to tackle him. He just lowered his shoulder and went over top of him. That's what you call being your own blocker, Brad. Got to do what you got to do. Yes, you do. Ooh, that Graham, uh, that uh, is going to be the end of our third quarter of play. Graham 49, Blacksburg 0. We will step away. You're listening to Bruin Football on ESPN Blacksburg. What we're going to do first, we're going to ride down the Huckleberry Trail all the way to the little park by the lake. You guys
Welcome back here, Bill Brown Stadium, as we start the fourth quarter of play. Not the night the Bruins have won it. They are trailing the Graham G men 49 to nothing. But the Bruins have put together an impressive drive here uh, through the end of the third quarter, and they've got the ball all the way down to the G men's 29. First and 10, Thomas Boyd doing a good job of running strong and uh, a couple key passes there, Waldron as well as Carter Ackerman. Handoff goes to Boyd. He's met in the backfield by one, two, three, and he is going to be brought down for about a three-yard loss. I tell you what, though, not one person is going to bring him down. He's got to, There's going to be two or three that's got to get him. No doubt, no doubt. And he's still getting after it, you know. Yeah, that's what I, you, it, it's hard to run versus this defense. You know, they got literally seven, eight guys right there in the box. They're just man coverage across the board. You know, they're daring you to throw it, Brad. Right. They are daring you to throw it. Yep. But the thing is, do we have enough time, time to throw to it? Time to throw it. That's it. I mean, that's the thing. You know, we talked about going deep to stretch the defense, but he just doesn't have time to be able to do that. Blacksburg, two receivers to the left, one to the right. Campbell takes the snap. He's going across the middle. Looked like it was intended for Javier Waldron. Slips off of the fingertips of Waldron. That ball is going to fall incomplete. Um, probably a catchable ball there, just a little bit behind Waldron, but uh, um, not able to pull that one in. It's going to bring up third and 15 for, from the 33 for the Bruins. You know, I like the same kind of idea right there, Brad, but just kind of a slant and go. Just so he's not feel like he's running towards the middle right. of the field where you got safeties or whatever. That's right. They really don't. But sometimes receivers just feel that. But oh, just yeah. kind of like a little slant and go oh. and just hit a seam pass right through there. Most of these kids that are out there right now, I mean, they've taken some pretty good hits tonight. Yes, so, they have. Uh, you know, it, it is one of those things where they're a little timid going across that middle. So, Ethan Walker back in at the running back position. Campbell, shotgun, snap is back. Handoff goes to Walker around the left side. He's at the 30, the 25. He's still on his feet. He's at the 20, 10, and he is brought down deep into Graham territory. Looks like the ball is going to be spotted close to the eight-yard line. Good run there by Ethan Walker off that left-hand side. And that's going to be a first down for the Bruins. It's going to be first and goal from the eight yard line. Well, that's the first time tonight we've had a first and goal right here, Brad. Yeah. Uh, you know, third and 15, you're not really thinking run right there, right? That's yeah. right, yeah. that's right. They did a good job. Ethan Walker, good vision, finding his way. Blacksburg breaks the huddle. Waldron, the single receiver to the left. Campbell's gonna roll to his right and pass his intended over there for number 25, Carter Ackerman. It is gonna fall incomplete, just a little bit low. Brings up second and goal from the eight for the Bruins. It'd be great just to find a way to punch oh, this one in. Yeah, get some we need it bad. points on the boards. You know, last night it was a tough loss by the JV. I think it was 30 to nothing at the halftime. Mm. Ended up being 38 to six. And, you know, it'd just be nice to yeah. hopefully try to finish this game on a positive note. Snap is back. And pass is caught down to about the one yard line looked like that was javier waldron i thought he was going to sneak it in the end zone there but a good quick pass from campbell to waldron ball down to the one it looks like thomas boyd's coming back in the game for the bruins and that's exactly who i would put in now he's going to come back to the sideline walker's in the backfield handoff goes to walker and he is in for a bruin touchdown Good hard run right there by Ethan Walker. You hear the fans, you hear the student body cheering loudly. They are happy for these kids, and uh, we're excited that they found a way to hit pay dirt tonight. Yeah, it's great to see all these kids still here. There's a bunch of yeah. them still here, Brad. Well, you know, you got to give it to them. I mean, yeah. uh, past couple years haven't been the most desired from a win perspective for the Bruins, but the students have, have stayed with them. Yep, they're having Liam fun. Liam Minna on for the point after attempt. Snap is down. Kick is up and good. 8.20 to go here in the fourth quarter. The Bruins are on the board. Seven for Blacksburg, 49 for the G-Men. You're listening to Bruin Football on ESPN Blacksburg.
Welcome back here. Bruin takes a touchdown in for our first score of the night. Graham G. Men 49, Blacksburg 7, Ethan Walker with a one yard touchdown run set up by a, a fairly long run by him. Uh, but a very good drive there by the Bruins uh, um, that went through the end of the third quarter and here to the beginning of the fourth quarter. So good job there. I'd like to see him continue to fight. Liam Mena teased the ball up for the Waterstone Mortgage kickoff. 8.20 to go here in the fourth quarter. Cram G-Man 49, Blacksburg 7. Mena looks over and he is walking backwards and he is getting ready to approach the ball. And he has his trot and he kicks it and drives the G-Man back to the 15. They are across the 20, 25. 30, 40, 45, back to midfield where he's met there by a host of Bruins, but big time return for the G-Men. Whew, that's not what you wanted to see after that touchdown right there, Brad. No, not, not at all. Looked like Hector Gomez in on the tackle there for the Bruins. 8.04 and counting here. Graham takes over at midfield. Looks like Coach Palmer is going to get some new players in the game. Uh, in at the quarterback position, we're going to see number seven, Jonathan Shockley. He's the southpaw right there. Brad. Yep, yep, a little lefty. And I can't see the number uh, for the running back over there. It, it could be 23 Daniel Jennings, but not 100% sure yet. Graham overloads the right-hand side. Handoff goes to the right-hand side, and the runner is continuing to fight, and he's able to get it. Uh, looks like about a five-yard pickup. Looks like number number 20, Danner Vineyard, Vineyard on the carry. That's going to be a pickup of about six on the carry. Ball spotted at the 44. Looks like Coach Leonard and Coach Gresham are getting some of our younger players in. Be nice to see him get a stop right here, Brad. Yeah, that would be great and uh, good to get some of these young kids out there playing. Shockley in the shotgun snap. He gives the handoff once again to Vineyard. Vineyard over the left side. He's at the 40. Takes it into about the 38 yard line is where the ball will be spotted. That will be a first down for the Graham G men. 629 and counting. Graham with the lead, 49 to seven. The second half up until this last drive of the Bruins had been all G men. That's Carter Ackerman there on that tackle right there. Looks like a new quarterback in for uh, the G men, number 10, Dalton Roberts. Yeah, that's the freshman that was in there last night, right? Yep. It looks like he's got a little ISO. He's going up the middle. He's across the 35 to 30 and goes all the way down to about the 27-yard line. That's going to be another G-Men first down. Oh, man. Mm. You know, they keep they keep bringing some pretty good bodies out there playing for they them. Do. Right? They, they do. They got some ball really players, do. you know. You they, know, I mean, Their they, future they, looks bright. Yeah, I mean, they just got a great program. Coach Palmer's done a terrific job over there. And, uh, um, you know, they just keep bringing them in. So we've got number 10, Dalton Roberts at the quarterback position. Danner Vineyard in the running back. Roberts is going to keep it, but he is met behind the line of scrimmage there by the Bruins. Looks like number 56, Tyson Brown. Um, and I couldn't tell the, the last one there. Was that uh, – was that – well, it looked like good Javier no. joined in on that one, too. Javier Waldron there. So that's going to be a... I mean, excuse me, Hector Gomez, sorry. It's going to be a three-yard loss on the play. It's going to bring up second and 13. Ball spotted at the 30-yard line for the G-men. Looks like Shockley's back in at the quarterback position for the G-men. Snap is back. Handoff goes to Vineyard. Vineyard breaks across the 30, the 25. He's still pushing and takes it down to the 20-yard line. 
Uh, pick up of a, almost 10 on the play, actually 11 on the play, so that's going to bring up third and two for Graham. That was a long, long, long hold there by Shockley. He was trying to read the defense, but finally Vineyard takes it and uh, a good pick up there. Third and two, ball spot on 20, back in at quarterback number 10, Dalton Roberts. Kind of like the way this kid operates right there too, but yeah. I mean, he has control over what he's doing. He has control over his offense. And Robert's going to keep it. He's going to keep it over the left-hand side. He's going to pick up enough for a G-man first down. He is tackled over there after a pickup of about four on the play. Looked like number six, Ethan Walker, in on the tackle for the Bruins. 340 and counting here. Graham G-man 49, Blacksburg 7. As the fourth quarter clock is ticking away, G-Men putting together a pretty impressive drive that started at midfield off of the long kick return. Shockley back in at quarterback for the G-Men. Looks like he's just rotating those two yeah. right now, certain situations and such. Uh, Vineyard still in the backfield behind Shockley. In motions, number 31, Gabriel Lilly. Handoff goes to Vineyard over the left-hand side. He's across the 15 to 10. He's still on his feet, and it looks like he's going to pick up a touchdown. A hard run there by Vineyard, and he just sticks that hand out. It looked like he was going to be brought down just shy of the goal line, but that extra effort gets him into the end zone, and that is another touchdown for yeah. the Graham G men. He's one of those seniors that really doesn't get to play much, Brad. You see how excited his teammates yeah. were for him. They pretty much – came off the sideline to congratulate him and uh you know you love to see those things you you truly do looks like point after attempts uh dylan nash once again on the hold for the g-men number 16 brody sharp you've said that a lot tonight brad unfortunately yeah he's gonna have to ice his leg down nash the snap is down kick is up and the kick is good. Our new score here, 2.56 to go in the fourth quarter. Graham g Men 56, Blacksburg 7. You're listening to Blacksburg Bruin Football on ESPN Blacksburg. You want to jump up? One, two, three. Oh, here it comes. Welcome back here, Bill Brown Stadium, David Chris Field. Our score, 2.56 to go in the fourth quarter. Graham, 56, Blacksburg, 7. Definitely not the score that we want. Um, looks as if there is a new kicker out there for the G-Men. Number 64, Germonte Hendricks, will be attempting the Waterstone Mortgage kickoff. And just a straight on kicker, it bounces at the 30, and it looks like it is going to go out of bounds, so that will be a penalty. Blacksburg should be able to attain possession uh, at the 35, I believe is where they will spot the ball. I imagine this be a quick two minutes and 56 seconds to finish this ball. Yeah, game the clock is running continuously here. Um, a lot of young faces out there playing. Uh, still mixed in with Bruins. Still some some of the uh, uh, some of our starters still in there, but also a lot of young faces too. We've we've had a lot of kids go down tonight, Brad. So, you know, just a, a depth situation right we, now. We we really have. You're exactly right, and uh, um, you know it's. Uh, it's 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 been a tough one. We've had a number. We had a number of injuries from last week's game, and 
Uh, you know, we've actually faced some more tonight, so really unfortunate. Snap is up. Handoff goes to number six, Ethan Walker. Uh, he's met in the backfield. It's going to be, uh, looks like he's going to be brought down right at the line of scrimmage. Uh, in for the Bruins uh, at quarterback. Let's see here. Looks to be number is that, 17. Is that Caden Bird? Uh, no, that is Carnell Bonner. Okay. For the Bruins at the quarterback position is what is there. Yeah. That it could be. I'm just wondering if it could be a a, a jersey switch. But no. uh, um, you know, he 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 typically he's the guy over there standing. He's signaling all the plays in for uh -huh. our offense. Uh, um, you know, and, and normally he doesn't even have his shoulder pads on. So, but you know, he wants the whole team to be able to see him. Handoff goes to number 42, Thomas Boyd, and he is met in the backfield for a loss. That Graham G men team is just continuing to swarm. Minute 25 and counting here. I think that, uh, you know, at this point, you, you look at it, the, the play clock is down to 27. Um, I don't think we want to try to uh, have to punt here which I would imagine they'll go for it on fourth down no matter what, uh, 104 and counting. Handoff goes to Thomas Boyd up the middle, and he is met right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. That's going to bring up fourth down, 53, 51 seconds and counting. The play clock has not started yet. Um, they might wait to start this 40-second clock. And now they started, and so Blacksburg will not have to take another snap here. Um, 30 seconds and counting. Um, I, I don't know that I would leave. I don't think I would take a snap here personally, but I guess, you know, we'll see. Looks like Spencer Campbell's looking over the sideline. Uh, I believe they are going to snap it. Uh, uh, Hector Gomez on the snap. Spencer Campbell punts it away, a great punt. Drives it down to about the 31-yard line, does a backward bounce. Ball is spotted at the 33-yard line. Three seconds to go. Whew. Yeah, interesting situation yeah, right there. Yeah, I'm not sure. I mean, I'm not sure why we punted that one, but... Uh, because the, the clock would have ran out, you know. Yeah, but now, just snap it and take yeah, a knee, yeah, and the yeah, clock would have yeah, ran. Yeah, it runs out. But uh, G-Men gets uh, another possession here, and we'll see what happens. But Spencer's done a heck of a job punting tonight, to be honest oh, with you. Oh, he's so. done a great job punting. <laughs> I mean, whew. I mean, there was a couple times there that, you know, I thought it was going to get blocked, but somehow he was able to get the ball away. Well, that's it, Brad. And that is the end of the ball game. Our final score here at Bill Brown Stadium, Graham G-Man 56, Blacksburg 7. We will be back momentarily for the Zeppelis post-game show. You're listening to ESPN Blacksburg.